mentioning so you can see where it is. Oh, <laughs> it's just your <laughs> eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> I have to resize it, but <laughs> I was oh, not yeah. prepared for that. Oh, why is it so big? What's happening here? Why is Thanks his head so big? Too big! Ventra, Ventra Time vibes. Okay, how far down do I have to shrink chair? There we go. <laughs> shaky, shaky. Oh, okay. Hold on to your butts. That pops up over your face when you do it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> I was like, what is that pop-up? And I'm like, oh. Kit is in the chat. You forgot the sound effect. Thank you. Stop it. it. Awoo, awoo, awoo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we got here, but I'm not complaining. Hello there. Wow. Hello, internet. We have sound bites. It feels we like have sound not bites. say hello back. We also have rooms, Internet. I never understand this, but for some reason, when I'm watching your stream, I can hear the soundboard. But I don't have your stream audio on. What? That doesn't make any sense. Believe me, I wish I knew. I don't... I... What? What the hell? Yeah, that. Is that new? You know what? I'm hearing it through karma. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> but look at all the pretty apartments, Internet. This is Splinters. And then there's Kits. It's a nice bedroom. So how did we come to have uh, condos? Does anybody want to fill people in? I did provide a recap in the notes section if anybody wants. To read. Not good enough. No one reads anymore. What the fuck? I wrote a whole thing. <laughs> it's got like... I haven't read anything. Whole, I'll just like read it from a Karma's Downtime Recap post. Do it. Do the thing. I do will it. do it in Kit's voice. <laughs> hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Do it. Okay. Nice. <laughs> oh, wait, Can I go now? Answer. Okay. <laughs> we done got paid. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> this so is much. already golden. <laughs> Hold on, we're gonna we're gonna zoom in on Kit for this. There we go. Last time on Cyberpunk Roller Shit, the crew relocated from the now to no to openly hostile Watson District to the also pretty hostile but in a different way Pacifica District, home of well, what will become the Voodoo Boys and a lot of chicken sacrifices, good fried chicken. Complex got some therapy. Thank God for everybody. Hijinks is fan Hydra 117 or Hydra 117, unsure pronunciation, or LL7, who knows, attempted to retrieve the remaining valuables from the old Watson property, but got picked up by the coppers watching the place. He done got hooked. His brother, from Munda Cheese, from Munda Cheese, has the goods and wants to hand them off, but is also asked we help his brother. I don't know. I think we let him rot. He's probably just a stalker and waiting. He doesn't think he was tailed to the meetup. We all think he was tailed to the meetup. We don't know much. Uh, you got, he was tailed to the meetup. I am crying. Perfect. Fiction. Well, on this note, I don't know if you saw with the uh, the role play, but we're taking bets on who we think the tail might be. Does Kit want to bet? Uh. Yep. Karma has bets I, on Maelstrom, and I have bets on the cops. I believe that the tail is actually a dog biscuit or dog meat, because I think that he is secretly jealous of Vermunda cheese and uh, one, Hydra 117, also known as Captain America. But, but dog it's, meat's grounded. It's, first of all, it's from Munda cheese. Well, thank you for correcting that. <laughs> it Wait, would be terrible if that was mispronounced. <laughs> from under cheese? Yeah, from you did do, do, don't you know what from under cheese is? It's down from under. Is it okay. Australian? So, so for 
For everyone here and for the internet that doesn't know it from Monday. I also is. don't know what it is, but I don't um, want to ask. <laughs> so, um, when you have certain body parts that are close together, Ugh. such as uh, like, between yeah. your legs or under your boobs or sometimes armpits, and you get a lot of sweat there and it like congeals and becomes kind of like a solid... That is what they call from under cheese because it makes like a kind of like a white cheesy substance. That is that is that is disgusting. <laughs> I, I don't I don't actually want to save his brother. <laughs> from under cheese and Hydra should just be in jail for being deplorable human beings because that is disgusting. I I hate the I... fact that I kind of like figured that out. Yeah, like I had, a, like, I didn't know, but I had a suspicion, and then oh, no. you confirmed, and I hate it. I hate oh, that I was right. Popa's here. Bum we heard Popa's brain. Okay. Okay. Now, so okay. the current situation is that we're like that guy is in the garage we're heading towards right now, and we're probably gonna have to save him. And at least half the party right now doesn't want to save him <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because so of his name. Now, mind you. <laughs> Karma has staunchly refused to use his whole name <laughs> this whole time. That's, that's fine. But so, Kate, as much as I would like to leave them <laughs> in jail, or maybe not existing, for the heinous crimes of uh, at least being Jesus horrible internet name, people, <laughs> I can't have the reputation of getting my fans in jail or killed. So they do have our shit too. Just the they also have maybe right. maybe your fan pool needs chlorine, especially if they're all from under cheese and bleach. They should drink bleach. Kate, <laughs> <laughs> look, I hate to tell you, but like half of your crew are the internet bullies who are about to pick on these fucking nerds <laughs> who name themselves you, after this shit. <laughs> you can pick on them, but I still need them alive. <laughs> Hello, No, you Nova. don't. Their, their subscription still goes through. Okay, but what, <laughs> what, what happens what, yeah. what happens to the rest of my fan base when they find out that if you associate hey, with me, you end look, up in jail or dead? It's Night City. They could have got dead doing any dumb shit yeah that's a very good point see exhibit a crossing the road when trauma seems trying to get somewhere for example mistake uh you know jumping out of windows with clowns around you another mistake yet we had a hobo who couldn't die I'm... still just kind of impressed by that <laughs> yeah i mean he, who... he had all in the luck stat all luck stat didn't know how to use it properly, though. <laughs> Aww. Cool. So that is jail or death. Uh, both. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> What's the plan for this session? What are we doing? <laughs> We're getting our stuff from him and probably having to save him. Ugh. Despite you not wanting to. Can we, like, can we make him change his username? <laughs> That's going to be our stipulation. Yeah. Like, don't be gross. That is a crime against the internet, even though the internet has been dead in this world. So, I want to take this opportunity. Oh, thank opportunity. you for the resub. Oh, hey. Resubs. I want to take this opportunity to tell the internet and to remind everybody here I that... I don't that know we, if I want you to remind the internet. You already we, told the internet too much. We, uh... We agreed that this session, due to general fatigue among all players, and certainly the DM, that this is going to be kind of a chill session. I have a kind of idea of what's going to happen, but we're just going to ad-lib this. This is going to be, um, this is going to be uh, a chill session, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yes, so they, um, I'm just going to do a little bit of recap for I mean it was perfectly done by Kit but there was some things that I think still need to be said um, because when we last left off on the streaming we had just finished like the, the whole uh, gun transport job so they crashed with wood chipper for a day or two um, also not mentioned in the actually I'll let whoever wants to volunteer between karma and hijinks um, you guys had a little internet meeting with 
a um with a hacktivist um and somewhat antagonist sometimes protagonist mystery netrunner character um who wants to tell them how that went cuz i'm sure kit needs to be refreshed on that too how do you how do you feel Hi, Jinx. Thank you for volunteering. I did not volunteer. I got voluntold. I, heard, I, heard no, I asked how you were feeling. I'll do it. I don't. <laughs> I was asking if you wanted to. <laughs> uh, I actually needed to get water real quick because I realized I have none. So if you may. Okay. So we were well. Specifically, Hi, Jinx received an email from somebody named Zero G, who we've run into in the past uh, as a Trekkie themed. A, I can put a picture of her up on the screen if we'd like. Mm-hmm. Okay. Where She's is a my zero G. Sorry. Keep going. <laughs> uh, Trekkie themed uh, netrunner who works for we know works for uh, Billy Joe Brentwood or Shit Eating um, Grin. Shit Eating Grin. From Petrochem. Uh, she invited hijinks and uh, Karma kind of tagged along to her private data pool, where she provided evidence that she had successfully bugged our house in Watson. Um, Bye sweet vindication. Card. Sweet vindication. The glitter birthday card was in fact sus as shit. Um, a new hand. Oh what? Why I didn't did someone that. touch Not that? It. <laughs> Who did Not that? It. <laughs> um, Not it. Daniel, it was you, wasn't it? Uh, no, it was me. I thought oh. don't open this meant that it was a thing that you push when oh. somebody <laughs> opens something they shouldn't. I didn't know it was the one you hated. <laughs> Honestly, it would be ten times better if fucking Splinter had opened the card and it did that. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'll stop. I'll stop downloading while we're explaining. All good. All good. Um, the look her, on your um, face was pure terror. Her private data pool server was themed like the holodeck because she's a huge nerd and um, honestly is kind of endearing at this point. Uh, even though we're pretty usually she's kind of a, a little bit of a double agent. We're uh, situation with her. Anyway, she bugged our house and got a recording of some people, you know, maybe NCPD, breaking into our house in Watson and setting up fake evidence to frame the crew. And she made a deal with us. Uh, info for info, she will provide the evidence, like supporting evidence, um, to make the recording like viable in court. If we provide uh, data that will make our BD that we streamed um, viable in court. Chiefly, she's looking for the serial code for the BD wreath that use, uh, was used for the recording, the drone that was used for the recording, and I just forgot the third item. Shit. Uh, well, any any information, including like date, time, people present, that sort of information that uh, proves the veracity of the BD stream because she wants it to be able to stand up in court for Petrochem with Nusa. I think yeah, that about covers it. Chip's going to have to go into a protection program. Oh, we're going to be his protection program. Yep, that about covers it. Um, so, yeah, so they did that, and they were looking at some real estate options. Um, our... Our resident fixer, Karma, rolled pretty well on finding options, so they were provided with, like, 17-something? Like 17, options. yeah. Yeah. Not all of them were created equal, but um, they ended up choosing to um, move to Pacifica, uh, which um, they were received a warning about that, you know, was not going to be uh, safe. But they decided, hey, we're, we're, let's move in. That sounds fun. Okay, but we, um, in our defense, hold on, I do want to say something in our defense. We moved into Watson on the argument that it was safe. And, <laughs> and that backfired spectacularly. So. No, we didn't just hate it. The, <laughs> we've had people like us at least three, three different megacorps and a Cromer gang are pissed off at us in Watson. So. Dude, one of the safest places to live in Night City. So it's not for our dumbasses. People like us. And yes, <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. Just had to throw it out there. Oh, my thing's doing the window thing again. Or is that with uh, rain? Oh, if your webcam disappears, it's because I only have two monitors and I need to do stuff on the other one. 
only two. Jeez. Well, maybe you should get another. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Um, especially with Diablo coming out. But that's beside the point. Uh, all right. So we find ourselves now um, going to uh, meet from under cheese and the uh, parking garage at a mega... A mega apartment building um, in Arroyo, about 30 minutes away. Um, he provided us with uh, the um, description of his van and the license plate, uh, Vanity Cheese, um, and the password to get into his van, um, and was hoping that we could save his uh, poor little brother from being uh, in police custody. Um, we gave him no guarantees. So, as we get started, does anybody want to have had um, prepared like an outfit or anything? That's what we should start each uh, session with doing. Yes, I will do that. I'll put on my good suit. I got my bow. Tied my hair back. Okay. Uh, social. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> Statistically. I was thinking roleplay. Yeah. No. That's how that. my mind works. Karma's wearing the same shit she wears every day. Ooh, and starting off with a fumble. Ooh. Nice. Oh, it's wearing camo. Good, just... Good thing we're. Going into a fucking garage to... You know what I'm not worried about impressing from under cheese. I would like to say, how yeah. did you roll one and a ten in the same personal group? Um, yeah, but this is a, the second time I've that's done... That's a big fumble. Nice! Oh, hey, I have done well. Fine. Yeah, we're not, we're not good at the so personal the, grooming. Um, heading, heading out to the beach um, of Pacifica... Um, the the high humidity here is really helping some oh, others God. and really not helping others. So as Karma's uh, the hair gets all like frizzy and staticky, even though it's you know uh, not real hair, he's having trouble controlling it. Um, where uh, and, and uh, that um, that one spot where she had the uh, the bullet is uh, prominently featured as she's still wearing the clothes with the bullet hole in it so they can see a single dot. It's just not uh, not looking good on the grooming side, but wardrobe and style, always good. Same thing she always wears. Whereas Complex is just, uh, he's he's feeling the vibe with his hair pulled back. Um, uh, he's, uh, he's blending in perfectly with the Pacifica dreads style. The 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 uh, the wardrobe isn't suiting him too well. Or well, no, sorry, the opposite. War Op wardrobe is yeah. fantastic. My clothing looks impeccable. My hair is a mess. Hair is a mess. Yeah, that makes. But sense. I guess that fits in too. Everyone's hair is a mess. It's the humidity. Okay. Excuse me, my hair is not. <laughs> I have Should impeccable. Be, uh... Yeah. Wardrobe style and grooming. Thank you. Okay, so what is what is hijinks wearing today? I wasn't prepared for that question. <laughs> Your character was prepared. <laughs> My character was prepared. <laughs> to be fair, it's probably one of the outfits she packed out for the fucking Badlands still because I haven't been able to get more clothes, Jer, because fucking cheese has my clothing printer. <laughs> I just wanted to see, man. <laughs> yeah. her, her shirts buttoned. Um, they're not all the button, right button or the right hole. It's a little sideways. <laughs> uh, my hair is frizzing out from my beanie. <laughs> oh, <fine>. Okay. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Uh, hijinks, you're wearing some of your... Uh, your... Um... Out your outland gear. Yep. Okay. Still got your hair looking all nice and red and black. You mean pink and black? Pink and black. That's what I meant. Yes. 
I know pink is a shade of red, but no. That's cool. Well, all right then. Um, while I try to prepare things on the fly, as always, um, Kit, uh, why don't you um, drive us there? Okay. Uh, the van, probably. I think we we took the van. Yes, but we're all you. we. The van is the only thing that has the carrying capacity for all four of us. We can strap the mood. I am pulling out a CD that I found in my apartment. It's Britney oh, Spears. Boy. <laughs> nice. You are not playing Britney Spears in the van. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I mean, what are it, we it, allowed it, to play in the van? Who said anything about you being allowed to play anything in the van? <laughs> are we allowed to play things in the van? I will take it under advisement. I'll take it. <laughs> okay, I'm looking at another screen, so if you would please tell me what you rolled. A 22. I rolled badly. Nice. Badly still being a 22. <laughs> I'm good for one thing. <laughs> Clearly not personal grooming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mind you, you look at like my personal grooming and then Kit's like driving. Like we have two very shits <laughs> <laughs> here. I have found, I have found a thing that will work for our thing. Uh, thanks to uh, my Patreon subscription to Mishka's Maps. Shout out. Uh, <laughs> Weirdly, though, Kit has a higher cool stat than Complex. That's... Oh. <laughs> By one. Well, it's all about it's about keeping your cool too, and we all know that uh, complex is a bit of a basket case. So, mm -hmm. I'd say it tracks. Okay, where is the thing? Oh, I think I found the thing. Is this the thing? Oh, that is that is not it. Da, 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 da. Is this the thing? Nope. This. That will work. Okay, we need to move this to roll 20. Open. Crap. Okay, that didn't work. Try again. Try, try again. Okay. <clears throat> so we got a 22. So not quite as fast as a uh, kid is used to, but uh, very proficiently as always. I'm not so... sure the van can go as fast as Kit's used to right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think she's used to 200. Maybe that's it. She got so used to driving the super fast speedy that she was just like, this thing feels slow now. Yeah. But we can't we can't hook complex to the roof, which we'd have to do. Raptures on the roof, though. That, that sounds pretty. What cool. is um? What's everybody's contortionist skill at? What would that even be under body? Body. I think body. It's body yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I have an eight. Well, no, you, six. you're driving. <laughs> I'm going to see if the rest of the us most, can like, fit in your car if we fill ourselves the up. Most well. flexible here. I bet Complex mm, could probably I'm literally complex. fold his legs. Mm. Well, complex is also okay, like 5'1. Like, like, do you really need to fold your legs? That's true. We could probably fit Complex in a suitcase. <laughs> I think this isn't much bigger. Or bigger. Like, we can, we can fit the, the shorties in the back. Yeah. Just kind of shove them behind the seat. <laughs> it's armored. It's secure. It's fine. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, what are your claustrophobic scores at? <laughs> In that situation, a 10. <clears throat> That's not bad. We can make that work. This is taking an inordinate amount of time. Just take some time for the whole trip. Yeah. 
Okay, so um, you have essentially arrived. You see the mega building of H9 towering over you. It looks like some of the upper levels are still being built, um, as most of the mega buildings in Night City are either near finished or, or beginning construction. You see that next to the building is the apartment um, uh, is the apartment parking structure attached to the side of the building. Um, we'll say that you're in your uh, you just pulled into the 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 block. Um, are you going straight to the parking structure, or what's the plan? Hey, Kit. Huh? Can we like do a run around the place, see how many entrances the uh, the parking structure has? Scope it I out. It, I guess we scope it out. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you kind of take a stroll around the block. Um, can the drone, see? can the drone, uh, I know hijinks and complex can scan for interfaces. Can we use it with the drone? Because we technically have, like, the van is a communication center. Yes. As I mentioned, the awesome communication center we have. Um, is going to double the effective range of what people's um, net runs have. So while in the, using the van, um, I believe that gives a 16-meter radius, right? For, for me. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. That's cool. My map still isn't loading properly. So. I mean... 16 meter radius is 52 feet like if we're like thinking just like on like the the road around it you can get a little bit in do you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. me. i think she has an extension <laughs> and she was about to say that i think but i don't really know yeah uh, for her for her she's got an extension for you it would be a little bit less Yeah, we did try to build into our ETA with Fremunda Cheese uh, um, an extra 10 minutes so that we can kind of scope the area because we are suspicious that he has been followed. So we're going to take a look around. Probably in the garage, too. Around the block a bit. Uh, the mega building, yeah, the mega building takes up the most of the full block. Uh, so you're kind of driving around on the, the roads around it. You notice that um, there is the, um, the mega building has uh, access to only uh, pedestrian in the front, but you notice in the back it looks like um, there's a loading dock built in with uh, um, a kind of an extended gate with a security booth there. Looks like uh, there's a place where um, shipping companies can move food and other supplies directly in to the back of the mega uh, uh, the mega structure um, and then elevators will take it up uh, to be distributed among like the people and like the stores inside mega buildings are kind of like they're a city within a city they have everything you know as far as like stores and hotels within it and you know um, obviously it's a place for a bunch of people to live as far as any other vehicle access to the property it's pretty much only the parking structure. The parking structure also has a little security booth outside, um, except it's unmanned. It's just a, a, a simple extended arm and a camera with what looks to be like a, a key punch sequence for residents to type in a password and get inside of the building. There's also a call. There's also a also a call button, of course, for visitors. Did we get any information about how he wanted to meet us in here? I drink sauce on info. We're looking for a black van with the license plate of cheese, and it's got a code on the door. He gave me the code, but assumingly, not the code for the security gate, if I had to guess. Yes, told you like what area it would be in. It is. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, level five C. Whew. 
Well, we oh, could. Yay, math, my math wants to work. Thank goodness. Um, we could try to make some kind of entry through the back way, uh, or make it an exit. We could attempt to just go in through the uh, thing and key it up. Um, then I don't know if that would kind of block us in, kind of uh, put us into a corner, essentially. We could park off from the side and make our way up by foot. But, you know, we've got a perfectly good vehicle for a getaway. Um, we could park off to the side by the shipping area and use that as our exit. Um, I'm not sure how difficult it would be to get in and out of that, though. Any suggestions? I think we want to keep the car with us. Can Probably. I... Roll a tactics <clears throat> to like get my own vibe as character. What I would perceive would be the easiest um, getaway. Absolutely. Oh, very Peace. nice. Okay. Give me a second, I'm still resetting my map, but I will give you some information in a moment. Let's see. Oops. I'm stylish, and I feel tactical today. Super tactical. Uh, let's go like this. I have a zen -like calm me today. I've had therapy. I feel good. So that's what if it, in my mouth. anybody tries oh. to fuck with that, I will lose my fucking shit. But we're good. We're good. Prob Expect probably. something to Prob fuck with that. Seven, eight, so what you're saying oh. is I <laughs> shouldn't give you a bottle of tequila and no. try to induce a rage frenzy. And then just brick check every every ten, ten feet or so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, that really so, my vibe. <laughs> we, uh, I, I, I know what I would do. We ply you with a bottle of tequila. We use the eject button. We eject you through the top of the van. We throw kibble at you, and then we say, "Go, Plex, go." <laughs> I forgot we had the ejection thing. I also feel like we should not do that in a parking garage because they're just gonna hit their head, and it's, that's gonna, that's gonna be bad. <laughs> It's a really low ceiling, too. <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh. But would it hurt any more than the brain bleeding that happens while hacking? I don't Have I mean, We've healed up, right? Since our uh, you, you, get, you get another um, uh, your body again. So uh, I think Hijink said she wasn't quite healed up all the way, but you should I'm at be twenty-eight. Should be basically good. Well, with another, actually, that would set me at full. I have twelve body. Cool. Good. You can take the the damage because <laughs> I, I would want rather to. not. <laughs> but I will. I will hopefully take more damage than anyone else by comparison. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and hold on, sorry, seven and two, seven and two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hit. Oh, and um, did I apply the therapy humanity thing yet, or is that a later thing? Um. You can go ahead and apply it now. Uh, you'll still have to continue going for the week, but like you know mm -hmm. that that week's almost done. Uh, so, are we rolling for therapy, or are you just giving us the average number? Um, I kind of like rolling for therapy, uh, even though we use the average for everything else, just because it adds some, um, you know, uh, uh, some difference with you you can't quite minimax with uh therapy you'll have to roll so um uh, we just lost kit from roll 20 yeah she keeps what? popping in and out i'm 
Roll 20 does not think you're still here. Yeah, it just popped your but, but I But I am. Did I, did I come back? <laughs> I believe you're you just your little thing at the bottom that says, like, who's here? Doesn't You, you popped up and disappeared. <clears throat> Okay, so as far as well, tactics are concerned, uh, you can tell just by looking at it the outside that this place is going to have... Um, it, it's it's not very good for escapes. Uh, this garage doesn't have external stairwells for like fire escapes or anything like that. It, it appears that it's got um, uh, a stairwell inside and elevators and uh, a single ramp. Sometimes, uh, of course, garages have two separated ramps, you know, one for coming and one for going. This one has one ramp pretty much all the way up as it circles around the, um, the garage. So it's really one way in, one way out kind of mentality. Um, so tactically... You would assume the uh, the the best choice would be to uh, obviously not use uh, elevators or stairwells, but perhaps um, sco uh, scope out the area using this van's innate uh, stealth capabilities. Um, looking for you know many many uh, any onlookers if you guys are worried about tails or something like that. Um, but if you wanted to make a clean getaway, the only way to really do so is to make sure that people don't know that you entered to begin with. That's, Can uh, you guys that's... hack that camera? I will ping my interface and give you an answer. Okay. Um, you can ping... Oof! No, Ooh. I don't think so. Yeah, um, I don't know, you're getting some kind of weird interference. Maybe you don't know how to use the communication center quite yet, but, um, you're not, you're not sure there are any interface points here. Perhaps Complex I... would like to, uh, check as well. Uh, well, I will go ahead and do that, because I don't see why I wouldn't try to pitch in. Uh, things aren't like super uh, critical at the moment, but there we go. A nine. Okay. With a nine, um, you note that the um, the code box is definitely an interface point, um, as well as there is um, somewhere on the inside of the back of the building. Um, you note that there seems to be an interface point. This is probably a um, like a fuse box or something. Well, I've got an idea. We could use one of the entrances uh, to get in, and then one of the other exits to get out. So, like, if we want to make our escape with the vehicle, we can. Um, Park the car somewhere where we can escape with it. Um, it's got stealth capabilities. I don't know if it can blend in or anything. But uh, if there's a place where we could find low um, population so... activity or something, maybe we park it around a corner or something, you know? And then make our way in. Make our way in through, like, the shipping area. You what do you guys think? You you share the information about the interface at the back. Mm -hmm. Yes. Using that as an access point, could you hack the camera that's at the security booth um, at either of the entrances? Because part of my concern is that um, if we go in on foot and we have to beat feet to get out of there real fast, um, I'm slow. I don't know if on foot in a, a mega building garage is going to be our best option for a getaway. 
if if we can hack it so that the the camera doesn't see us even come in with the car, we have the car to get out fast. Is there a reason for us to park it around the corner? No, uh, well, I mean, so there was the, the thinking is we can either try to go in through the way, but whatever way we go in, um, we want the, the getaway vehicle to not be known where its location is. So Which is why we want to hack the uh, camera. Entrance. And if we hack the camera in the parking and park the car in there, we don't have to necessarily go in through there, I don't think. So, Jeremy, out of mm -hmm. character, if we were to go through the shipping area, is that a different entrance into the building than that the goes in that internal? goes into the that goes into the mega building, not the garage. Right. So the garage has one entrance and exit. Yeah. Okay. If, yeah, there, if we... there is a there is a pedestrian way to get into the garage, like I mentioned, the stairs on the inside. You'd have to physically walk into the garage and take the stairs up. But as far as vehicle access, yes, it's just one ramp that goes all the way up. It's got two lanes, but you get the idea. Were we meeting yeah. him in the garage, or were we meeting? We're meeting yeah. him up on like level seven. In in the garage, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if we can if we can have the camera that's at the booth into the garage and the like the camera doesn't know that we've come in, we so still I've, are kind of good on leaving that way. I have an idea of how to be super tactical about it so that the, nobody knows that we do there. We would park the car in the garage, go out the pedestrian way, go in through the shipping thing into the mega building, through the mega building into the garage. But that's super excessive. That right? sounds like not far too many steps. Yeah, I'm overthinking it. Let's just park in the garage. Let's hack into the camera system. You want to go with me? There's a point right here at the scanner. So I'm going to make the effort into the scanner. Come with me, I jinx. You're much better at this than I am. Okay. Seeing timesies, maybe. Eat. Hold on, I'm uh, creating a net architecture that I wasn't planning on making today. <laughs> I also don't think I've restocked my programs, have I? No. <laughs> so I have practically nothing. I can get in there and look around and probably leave. Let's see. We need, let's see. Uh... What do I have? I've got eraser. I still got my sword. Let's see, uh, let's see, let's see map layer, and then I need, uh, I need this. And no, I need, okay, this and this. Uh, okay, we've got that, and then that, okay, and then I get to reveal part of it for you. Okay, so you're jacking in? Yes, or both jacking in. Okay, jacking in. Uh, for point of reference, are we just kind of parked outside the building at the moment? I think we're in the parking garage, aren't we? No. We we're haven't actually outside gotten the yet. building currently. We're going to hack the camera and then go in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so just kind of uh, parked on the side of the road making Ow. throw your hazards on or something. Yeah, I'll throw my hazards on and I'll pretend like I'm fixing the car. Okay. Like lifting the hood and just like scratching my head like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Even though Kit knows, uh, would know exactly if something was wrong with her car. No, one hundred percent. But like, you know, do you want you me to roll to... an acting check? That might be fun. 
You totally can. Thirteen. Not bad. Yeah. Not, not bad. bad. That was a nine. Not you know. you've, you've seen you've seen all kinds of gunk city folk um, trying to fix their cars <laughs> before, and you're just channeling that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead and switch your icon to your Netrunner icon, and we'll get started. Oh, it's weirdly sized. It's okay. No need to roll initiatives here. Whoever wants to go first can go first. I'm going to do a Pathfind. Pathfind, roll it. I'm also going to roll Pathfind. I'm doing it in person. Okay. 14 total. 14. Okay, let us reveal stuff. Okay, um... Well, show me what I got first. Some, or did I see anything at all? I don't know. I have the low roll, so... Yeah, all you see is this. Fascinating. You didn't get past the password. So take that with a grain of salt as I'm going to reveal what uh, Hijink sees. Um, and you can't, you can't see the rest. So she sees that plus one, two, three. So even for her, it's not going to be the whole net architecture, but she's going to get the important bits. <laughs> complex yeah i'm gonna be honest with you i don't think we should be here <laughs> what is that it's just a door <laughs> there's an imp and the last time that i had to face an imp it called it fucking texted the skyjackers now um jeremy out of character here mm -hmm. would complex know of a particular reason would this be the same it, uh, result if we were to take down this demon would it alert so somebody? imps are very simple imps are usually programmed to do one maybe two actions upon like one circumstance so um the apparently the skyjackers had an imp uh, specifically uh, meant to trigger an alarm if like anybody got into it. You Im you can imagine, although you there's no way to be sure. You can imagine that this imp is probably just here to raise the arm when it scans a license plate that belongs here. That's what my inclination was, and so uh, if I am confident in character that that would be the case here would i need to do like a roll or um would that just be something that we know because then i think she would know that too yeah uh i can't think of what role would be off the hand but you guys are both uh net runners again there's no way to be sure uh until you see the way that the imp reacts but um uh hijinks sees that there's a control node she doesn't see anything else in the um, beyond the, where the imp is. Um, so theoretically, the control node would have something to do with the camera and or arm or both. So if there is an alarm for the imp to trigger, maybe you just haven't seen it yet. But um, you'd have to do an ID check, you know, um, or or access the control node to see what it does. Okay. Well. Um, I'll express that like we don't know what the imp is going to be necessarily good for. It's probably just the door, maybe the camera, uh, maybe there's a sentry or something. But uh, since it's unmanned, they're probably not like super watching it. It's not like a super mega corp or anything. So I'd run the risk of it. I mean, you know, it's the two of us, and we're outside, and we can easily get away if if there's any kind of trouble with that, right? Yeah. Maybe you want to tell Kit uh be prepared to drive fast and then now, we'll make the effort. 
Now, Hijinx does see one thing, which is similar to what her fear was. I will highlight it if I need to. Yeah, there's also a mouse trap. I'm staring down a wisp, a mouse trap, and an imp. The last time I saw a mouse trap, it wasn't great either. So the mouse trap I, complex should know that the sysops being warned would it be exactly what we're looking for as a concern. Mm -hmm. That's what we're mm -hmm. gonna have to be looking out for. You think you could take it down? I don't. I don't think I really have anything to take it down. May I? I'm honestly not before it probably gets off an accessible attack. <laughs> I could possibly slide by it, but that's still risky. I could try to conscript it. I think that... Wait, can I try to conscript that? I'm not sure. Uh, Maybe it's black ice. I think it's ice. only black ice. Is it black ice? It, yeah, it is black ice. I thought conscription only worked with programs. Hold on, let me look at the details. Uh... Yeah, now Black Ice are considered programs. Mm hmm And he's conscripted them before. Yeah, um, I allow it. Of course, in order for you to put conscription on it, you'd still have to encounter it. So it's it's really the same risk, to be com to be frank. Whether sliding past it or trying to conscript it, it's going to have at least one attempt to snag you. Worst case scenario, we trigger it and we drive off and then we come back uh, on foot. Or go in through the shipping place, up through the building and then back into the garage that way. There's options. I think it's worth I'm it. I'm concerned if we want to make by sure our options our... and our time frame. Well, our getaway would be assured if we can get through this. Okay. Better... Better to make the mistake now than later when we need it. I think we might. We have to take out the wisp first after getting past the password, so let's worry about that. I'll get the door and maybe the wisp if I can. Uh, and then you'll have to try to get past the rest. Is that okay? I think we're both going to have to hit the password, so it's fine. Right. Right? Do we both have to hit the door? Yeah, both of you all have to pass the door. Okay. I'll try to get the wisp. Huh. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to use my Rust program. Okay, you activate Rust. Get Rust out. It's forward to my back door effort. Go for the password. Let's see, let me reveal things. What'd you get on the on the back door? Um, 12. Yeah, I Plus rolled a 4, have is. a 4 for my interface, and I got a 4 for the, the rust. So 12 total. Yeah, that uh, will pass the password. Hi, Jinx, what did you roll on the backdoor check? <sighs> Doing it now, hold on. <laughs> 8 total. Eight. Well, you were able to see past the password before, but now you can't seem to get past it. We go again, Jer. Okay. I can make my effort on the wisp now, right? Um, yeah, let's um, let's go ahead and roll initiative now that it's relevant. Please. Eleven for my next check, but yeah. Oh shit! I needed to be selected, didn't I? Yeah. I can do it for you. Um, Danny, while you're uh, fixing your car, your real life cat is having a heart attack. Well, why? She's been fed. Oh, okay. Just checking. But feed again. So, but what about second breakfast? <laughs> Kita is now confirmed Hobbit. Definitely. Uh, she's confirmed something. She's she probably just wants to be down there with her because I was gone all weekend. 
Yeah. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna give them their own initiative. Typically, they'll enter at the top when they, like, see someone, but um, that's not necessary for this case. There's only two things here. So let's go ahead and... Okay. All right, Complex, uh, go ahead and interact with the Wisp. All right, so first things first, interaction, speed check. Yeah. Um, let's see. What's its speed? It's got a speed of four. four. Yeah. Okay. A D10. Bravo. Go. Nine. Ooh, very nice. What'd you get? Combined with the effects of my cyber deck and my interface. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> A whole lot. I'm gonna go first. <laughs> cool, very nice. And that's not even counting the cyber deck yet. I guess I'll okay. go straight into using the sword on it. Just okay. Hack into it. We summon a sword program. Blue Duke, go ahead and roll your attack with a plus one. Okay. Uh, seven, and that's with the plus one. Okay. Yep. So... Roll it's low. Roll low. Its defense oh. is. Is that a two? Yeah, that's a two. Blop. It did indeed it's... roll low. Do your damage. Also, That's the three... sword derezzes itself. Is that 3d6? I can't remember. Ah. Three. Yeah, it should be 3d6. Oh! Wow, very nice. <laughs> uh, almost all of its health. Your your sword slashes into the wisp. Excalibur. And... Yeah. Um, and I believe you have one more net action. Go go zap. Yeah. A ten. So long as it gets a four, it is derezzed. Congrats. Nice. That was a very Good good, uh, very good round of combat you ruined it um all right so we'll go ahead and do its turn it's a stark difference compared to the three turns that it took me to take out that one with the last time okay hijinks Uh, I rolled an 11 for my password. You've beat the password. One net action down. Great. Beating as all is. Okay, we are resing a program, Speedy Gonzalez. Yep. Oop. Which is plus two to speed, and then plus three. Two net three. actions down. Oh, I'm really gonna hate this. Encountering the mousetrap. We're sliding. Okay. Speed test, go. Speed a seven. I'm mathing, hold on. Fourteen plus... 19 total. You got a 19? Did you roll a 10? No, I... Plus 3 from her cyber deck, plus 2 from the Speedy Gonzalez, plus 5? Plus 6 from my interface, and I rolled an 8. Okay. Just be fast. Fast as fuck. Okay, you've encountered the mousetrap, and you can go first. Now I need you to make a slide check. Um, 11. 11. Maybe it'll get you on this. Who knows? Please don't get me on this. 
a nine. Okay, you slide past the mouse trap. Uh, and no. into the fire. Complex, your turn. Uh, I'm gonna un wait. Can I un like unres the sword, or or re -re -re res the sword? That's what the thing. Do you is. have an, Do you have another sword program? Uh, no. Let's no. rest till you jack. Yeah. Okay, right. Got it. I don't use it enough. Um, I don't really think I have many other programs. I've got a conscription, and that's not very good. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to erase uh, what we've done so far. I'm going to use an erase for a cloak. Okay, you're going to use summon eraser and make a cloak check? Mm-hmm. Okay. Go ahead and roll your cloak check. So that's a plus two to that. Thank you for the hydrate, sir. Nice. Uh, Thirteen total. All right. You vanish into the, the net and hide your activities. That's two net actions. Anything else? Be good, hijinks. You got it from here? I hope so. All right, I'm gonna pop out. Okay. All right, and I'm and jacking safe, out. Safely jack out as another action. All right, Imp's turn. Um, Imp wants to zap. Oh my God, I hate my life. Um. Read this to interface three. I forgot what it's. Oh yeah, it, it's combat numbers for when it's controlling the gun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Zap. Roll your defense. Matting. Eleven. Okay. Zap. Roll your defense. Hold on, excuse me. Uh, why is math hard right now? Uh, nine. Okay, your turn. Sword. Okay, you summon a sword. Sword is summoned. Sixteen total. Okay, 16. Okay, do your damage, uh, 2d6. Seven damage. Seven. Okay, minus seven. All right, sword, we summoning sword, sword again. Uh, okay, summon another two. sword. Okay, so that's so. This is your third action, I believe. Mm, it's my second. Second, okay. What's your attack? <gasps> I got a ten. Okay, you can just go ahead and roll your damage. You don't even want to see what I end up getting. Rude. Um, math. 2d6. And, 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 and up math. Adding. Uh, 12. Okay. The imp is de -res. Okay. Two nether actions. Uh, what is this thing? What is she sitting well, on currently? She, you're sitting on a control node for the camera and for the arm. Great. Can I turn off the camera? 
Sure. Can Make you... an interface check to control it. What were you about to ask, Karma? Can you loop it back by, like, 30 seconds or something like that, instead of turning it off? Can I do that, Jack? Um, explain. You just, like, uh, play back the coverage? Yes. Yeah, so that it's when like we drive screenshot. through... Yeah, so when we drive through, it doesn't see us, but it doesn't alert people that it's just off. Okay. Um, for that, you would have that's not something it's designed to do, so you would have to get to the bottom of the net architecture. You could turn it off right now, though. Yeah, it you was can an idea. turn it off right now. Let's just turn it off. Okay, raise Make the door. Check. Nine? Okay, nine is good enough to power it off. Camera is off. Great. If you lift the arm, you could tell Kit to drive in, and but stay close. Can we lift the arm, Jer? Yep. Arm Am is I lifted. rolling? No. Nope. Kit to drive, but stay close to it for a minute. I think you're muted. No, I'm not. Okay, I didn't hear you. I didn't hear anything. Oh, I, I didn't either. Can you you can hear me now though? Yes. Mm -hmm. Weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, I drive forward. All right, Kit Staying drives close. forward, and um, no one else is an initiative, so hijinks can go again if you'd like. I lower the arm and turn back on the camera. Is that the goal here? Yep. Okay. I think that's the so goal that'll here. we'll call that two action net actions, but you can certainly do that. Uh, uh pop eraser. Okay. Uh, some you summon your own eraser program. Mm hmm. I want to quote check. You want to do a pathfind to make sure there's no like recording. I don't. I don't know if we have the time for me to dive this all the way down. If there is, I could. Wouldn't hurt to have a look see. Pathfinder, Jer. I was yeah. going to cloak, but let's do that first. Um. Fifteen. Let's I should have done that but we... myself. I just I was kicking myself for not thinking to do it. Um, we have to go to Kit first because that would be the end of your turn. Kit, you're just driving up the ramp at this point. Yep. Okay. Just stay within sixteen meters, please. I will stay within fifty feet. Okay. Uh, what was your path find? Uh, fifteen. Okay. I find successful. Oh. Interesting. File. Hey, Jer, my f second favorite thing. Karma's first. What is this? You roll ID for your second action. Yes. Uh, ID tells you that um, it seems to be a, uh, a log uh, for license plate reads. It's good for... Um, Two days at max. Okay, good to know. Hmm. You should I check it for cheese. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can download it. Okay, let's go to the bottom. That would okay. be good. All right, you are at the bottom of the net architecture. Uh, can I plant a virus to make that mousetrap friendly so I can just jack out without having to slide by it again? Yep. Go ahead and roll your, um, interface. Yes, uh, mathing. Thirteen? Thirteen, okay. Um. And... Now I do a cloak check. At plus two. Go for it. <gasps> I got another. I should know. 
Ah, my head. That was actually one. Um, I'd rolled my percentile because my other one was being mean to me. Uh, I got a one, so uh, not great on that one. Okay, so roll again. <laughs> uh, that's a nine for that um, fumble. Um, okay, so add your interface to the one and then subtract nine from it. I imagine you're looking at a negative number. I am looking at a negative okay. by two. Can we do another cloak check? <laughs> do you know if you do bad when you do bad? Theoretically, you're um, you're aware, but um, I don't know what the the book says about trying to do it again. Assumingly, there's no threat, but a critical fumble is a critical fumble, so I'll have to think about what that will do. Um, but yes, uh, why don't you? You'll have to take a moment, but assumingly, no one's writing up on it. Actually. We're in the middle of the day. Let me roll a percentile chance. Just to leave a calling card there. Because that'll be fun. Way after the fact, somebody can look back at it and go, fuck, they got in. Or you could not roll a percentile chance and just say, well, they're all on their lunch break. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, kids, uh, high or low? Ugh. Uh... Are you rolling in person or on roll 20? I just rolled in person, so I have the number already. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Give me just one second and I'll tell you. I'm picking up my <laughs> dice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to say low. Low. Congratulations. No interruptions happen. Woo! Nice. Okay, I rerolled my cloak check. 14. 14 total. That's with your plus 2? Oh, actually, no. That is then 16. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the beginning of your turn. Uh, so you have more actions? Or are you just jacking out now? I'm late leaving. If that ice is not going to hit me, I'm leaving. Okay. I'm going to leave you in this map just for a bit as it drives up. I imagine you guys are just going to go straight to the fifth floor. Do I, did I lose yeah. my programs when I used them like that? Or do I get them back? You get them back. Use? They're just, they're just derezzed as long Unless, as like, a uh, yeah, dragon doesn't destroy them. Right, as long as they're not destroyed, you're fine. Okay. Uh, okay. This is why I have a fucking backup uh, hardware on mine. So even if they get destroyed, they don't. Yeah. I've been pushing my limits. To be fair, none of my programs are that expensive. I could, like, swap it out for something, but I haven't decided. I also might get more expensive programs in the future, so don't want to replace those off. Alright, let's see... I, don't th I didn't hear anybody say that we went just to the fifth floor. Is that what we're doing? Do we want to scope out the garage a little bit as we're driving? Try to keep a lookout for anything that looks sketch? Yeah. Eyes peeled, everyone. Heads on the swivel. Okay. Um, you follow up the garage. It's, uh, it's There's plenty of cars here. You notice the um in the the center of um every in this in the center of uh the first level and when you get to the fifth level it looks like there's an extra like um building in the middle um with some doors on it that you don't know which just says employees only but uh every um every floor has like a little magazine rack on it and a uh, place to scan for parking looks like um if you are a guest here you don't have to pay for parking or if you're a if you live here you don't have to pay for parking for guests there's a place to pay for when you or when you leave stairs are in the middle and they have an elevator shaft in the middle other than that pretty typical garage 
As we get closer, I'm going to just kind of keep an eye out for anybody who's just you know, sitting in their cars or any patrolling security. I don't know if they have garage security. You don't see any patrolling security, and um, you might notice a handful of people um, in their cars, some of them coming and going. Who did we lose? Danny. Oh. oh. Welcome back, oh, Danny. Having some trouble? Yeah, I'm back. Don't worry. Okay. Welcome back. What if we wanted to worry? Uh, well, I don't know what to tell you. I'm back. So... <laughs> We don't have parking scanning. Uh, we could try to hack in another time, or we could just keep driving. We're gonna just keep driving. I don't, yeah, we, we don't need we don't need a parking pass. <laughs> We're here to get yeah. our shit, throw in the back of the van, and go. Yeah. Yep. In theory, this should be just a handoff. You yep. Want to go straight here. up to him and hop out, and uh, when we get there, or do we want like? one of us on the outside before we get there. Let's see if we can get eyes on him first. Okay. Good idea. I wait. Okay. We're looking for a black van with the license plate of cheese. Ugh. This guy, this guy has a serious <laughs> cheese problem. And it's not even real cheese. <laughs> yeah. Is that like a fetish thing? I'm afraid. Probably. I don't want to know, actually. Don't, don't ask it. him. <laughs> no. His in don't game Google it. Don't name, ask him. His in-game name is normal, right? I think that is his... Isn't that yeah, his... that is his in-game name. That is, that, is, that is his ELO game <clears throat> account name. That's, that's his elven name. I feel like we maybe have found somebody who needs therapy more than me. <laughs> <laughs> is that possible? I don't feel like we're going to find out in a minute. Yeah, no kidding. We're going to find ring. out as, as soon as Jeremy does dynamic Ooh. lighting. He oh, also to... reminds me, uh, I didn't roll for the humanity thing. I don't know if this button that says roll is what I'm supposed to be doing for the therapy. You certainly can. Them. Is it a 2d6 one? I don't know. It just says percentage humanity underscore therapy. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just roll um, your... I think we're doing 2d6 twice for you, right? Or Yeah, I went for the, the full speed. Yeah, you paid 2,000. That so... means I'd be 4d6. Uh, yes? Intensive yes. thousand therapy is forty six. The five hundred is two. Yeah. Hi, Mary. Hi. This is good. But remember, that's um, part of that forty six is the uh, fourteen you incurred from the muscle weave and all that. So why don't you just roll? What did you just roll now? Like four d six. A three, okay. a five, a two, a three. Just let's just keep keep the four d six. We're erasing fourteen from your muscle weave and stuff like that, which is the full amount. And you got thirteen just now. Mm hmm. Okay. So you can keep that for your your current upgrades and actually apply that one. Um. Hopefully, complex is starting to feel better. So, I'm not sure how this works. There's a seven in my therapy box already. Am I adding thirteen to that then? Yes. I think so. Okay, that seemed to have worked. I have forty-two humanity now. Doesn't seem too bad. Maybe let's not promptly replace that with more upgrades, even though that's exactly what you intend to do. Just a little bit. Just a teeny, just, you know, just, just the eyes. I don't know why. You, like, so far it sounds like you only want the color shift, which you can just get with shift tax. Um. So I already have the scope with the lens, and I don't 
think. Did you ask? The lens and shift hacks are two different things. Wait, are you you have a, a scope with your, your he eyes? Has a, he has a smart lens that has a scope uh, cybernetic on it. Yeah. And that's Starting that's an eye, that's an eye upgrade? That's yeah. it's just a lens that's implanted onto the eyeball like the lenses that Karma got. It's just um, an option slot. I want to be able to change the color of both of my eyes, have the targeting scope, and potentially the ability to see through smoke with another upgrade, but I haven't really decided on that one yet. So, uh, so I definitely I... need fake eyeballs for all of that. Yep. But also, like, I have fake eyeballs and shift tacks, so... I don't know why... I think it's because the shift tacks are fashion wear. They're not cyberware. Right, but he's saying he already has he he already has a non cyberware thing on his eye with one option slot. He can't get both shift tax and his like scope thing and his see through smoke thing. That's impossible mm -hmm. unless you have fake eyes. Yes. Yeah, we'll work it all out later. Don't worry about it. Yeah, he he wants too many things in his eyeballs. Something other than pollen. That's a problem. I'll, I'll right now. For, those, for those of you on the stream who don't know, that's a problem with my eyes right now. There's a lot of pollen in them. Also, I want to just point out that I have been rolling well, and I think Mark is not in the stream, and that's why. Shh! Don't say anything. Right. Knock on wood, bro. We're not done yet. <laughs> the, and don't summon demons with that talk. <laughs> is Mark a demon? Uh. That's my luck for me. Yeah, in Daniel's in mind, he is. I think, I think, uh, in the Netrunner aspect, he could certainly be that. A daemon? Yeah. I gotta do That's something cool to this card. map. Uh, What's a cool it's car? It's got, like, no hood. Just I... wheels. Terrible for storage. Okay, it might have just went black for you. Do not panic. Yes. Panic? I was already panicking. My eyes are filled We're with We're blind. Ah. We're blind. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> there. Okay. Spite panic. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> uh... All right, how about now? Dynamic. Lines. Okay. All right, welcome to the fifth floor. Should, should we find a place to park and use your cloaking on the vehicle and then um, potentially scope around on foot? This is a more manageable space. Or with the drone? Well, he's on the seventh floor. We're on the fifth currently. No, I thought he was on the fifth. Oh, fifth. Okay, I thought it was seven. Me bad. Yeah, we could definitely do the cloak thing, although there's the potential of scanners still going through somehow. I'm less worried about scanners and more worried about people with eyeballs. I... I don't know. Thoughts? Oh, that drone has much better vision. Maybe. Why is it not going to the top? That's annoying. Weird. A lot oh, of, uh... Drone. Yeah, the drone doesn't like being on top of the car right now. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. I have no idea why. Okay, well. So... If we don't see anybody immediately within sight, if we actually just like idle somewhere over here and cloak, um, I think it's less likely that there will be scans of an actual parking spot. Like the visitor parking spot's probably gonna have a scan. Uh, there's always the chance that somebody drives through here and doesn't see our car and hits it, uh, which will probably hurt their car more than ours. Uh -huh. But you don't want to cloak in like a parking spot. I mean, we could. I'm throwing options out there, guys. Like. 
Just, I mean, um, like, you don't want people to run into your car. Well, we could, okay. We, we could did, like, a, car. like, 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 this parking spot, because I bet you the cameras are mounted up here. Is there a, is there a parking spot that's a little bit harder, easier to conceal with the, the scanners, love? Well, right there. Easier to conceal with the scanners. Uh, explain the sentence. I don't understand. Never mind. I don't know. Oh, Rapture wants to be on top now. Uh, not for me. For me, Okay, no. so, like, okay. right here isn't actually a parking spot, but there are pieces, it looks like columns here. Yeah, Maybe yeah, we park columns. here in Cloak. Mm -hmm. okay. That's what I was thinking. I'm going to butt up right up against the column. Go for it. And Cloak. And then we send it's, the drone out to take a look around. It's now a DC-17 to spot us. Okay. I boot up Rapture. Rapture is booted up. What's his range? I'm guessing... Um, you said what, Devil? I forgot to change the grid cell yes. distance. I didn't want to move the car. I wanted to move Rapture. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Rapture can do double your distance. You normally have an eight meter distance. Sixteen. It's um a good distance. Not the whole garage, but are there any windows on that building that you could peek in? I'm going to guess no. We're looking at license plates and looking for people. Okay. Uh, go ahead and move your rapture around, and I will let you know. Van doesn't have a silent running, does it? I can get that far. I think no. when it's in cloak mode, the engine's off. It's oh, it has to be battery. stationary, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, it won't be able to stay cloaked forever, forever, because uh, it's using its battery, but it's got a long time. Enough that you don't really have to worry about it. These look like elevators. Oops. Elevators. Oh, guys, elevators. elevators. Great. Because elevators haven't been a <laughs> horror show for us. While they're doing that, I'm looking at the motorcycle next to us. Hijinx okay. also wants to look at the motorcycle, but busy. It's a uh, it's a motorcycle. It's um the the keys aren't in it. It's uh got a <laughs> <laughs> it's got a I like how he specifies that. Uh, it's got a biometric thumb pad on its uh, ignition handle. Um, looks like it's uh somewhat sporty, some somewhat old model, but. In good working condition, otherwise. Uh, I'm what having to bop back and forth that. between yeah, them so much. You're um, you're reaching your outer limit I know. there. So I didn't go any further. I have seen nothing of note. Not particularly, no. I don't I even think you've do laps. Don't even think you've seen any vans yet. No, you have not seen any vans yet. Uh, real quick, uh, hijinks. Check that file and see if um, uh, a car with the license plate cheese has actually come in here today. Has the license plate with cheese came in here today? Do a library search. It's a lot of information. Oh no. Do I see any cameras in here on this level? Do a perception. I got a 10. <laughs> okay, re roll. And then a two, which plus 13, so 25 for library search. 
Also, uh, I gave you Rapture stat block before, right? Uh, I have it set up as drone. So yes. Okay. I don't know how much health Rapture has. I don't think you gave me that. Or move. Okay. No. The only thing I have is its attack. Um, when I shared that file with you, I don't remember. Is it going to use your perception or its? I might have to look I... that up real quick. I don't remember. Okay, let's give that a quick look. Uh, what did you get on your perception, Daniel? 16. 16. You don't see any cameras. Can I roll a perception on uh, people? Just, in, again, sitting in cars um, that are within our view. Okay, you see ahead. us. Roll a perception. I hope she sees us. She might roll a one. She definitely <laughs> sees us. I, I'm aware that we are extant. <laughs> okay. uh, what'd you get? 17. 17. Uh, you have yet to see anybody waiting in their car. In your uh, in your view. I mean, if somebody was just standing in a parking spot, you'd tell me to, right? With that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> okay, hold or on. specificity may be my undoing here. <laughs> Would it be okay if I got out of the van and did a little bit of uh, snooping about myself, or should I just stay right here? I'm anxious. Uh, I mean, Drunk me, me, actually, that's your car. Oh, you know, if you do that, oh, try to stay near cars and things that you can use for actually. cover. I don't. I, I prefer the buddy system, but you're faster than the rest of us. <laughs> I looked around Hi. first to see if there were cameras, and I didn't see any. I Rapture didn't even see a van. There's like the other side of the parking garage, but I can't reach it with Rapture. Not from here. Any luck with that list? Let's make yeah. sure you're not going out on a goose chase. Oh, I'm for... sorry. What'd you get on your library search? I was looking at other 25. stuff. Twenty-five. I got the crits. The all the crits. Okay. Yeah. The a license plate cheese was uh, scanned uh, yesterday, both leaving and entering. Uh, most recently, yesterday at about 9 p.m. It left or it entered? Entered at 9 p.m. Okay, good to know. Does, does he sleep in this car? You know what? Give the him the name. <laughs> Give him the name. <laughs> Don't ask questions. Give him the name. Let's, let's not make the terrible um, mistake of underestimating our foes because they've got dumb names. <laughs> Did anybody bring shower in a can? Just asking for friend. Okay, so based on what I'm reading about drones, it's going to be while you're in direct control mode, which is what you're in, um, it's going to use your perception. So why don't you also go ahead and roll me a perception, please? Let me find my perception. Awareness. Uh, 16? Okay. You, yeah, also don't notice anything out of the ordinary. Uh, if he's actually here, and if there's anyone else here, they're not on the side of the garage. But he is here, assumingly. Okay. Can I stretch my legs? I'll stay close to the At least his car is here. Yeah, just, uh, do me a I... solid and stay close to the vehicles, too. Should we just move the van to the other side so we can finish scoping? If there's somebody over there, we lose our, our uh, cover, our hiding spot. Okay. Just so, don't go any further than you can get back. Don't we, ha don't we have a radio on this communication center? We've got six radios. I throw one at Complex. Okay. Um... I'm going to have to keep it muted, though, so that you guys don't give away my location if you speak up. Right? Or does it have, like, a headphone? You know, use it, to, use it to speak with us, and I'll text you. Okay. I put my phone on silent. And I'm going to go stealthy mode. Okay. Go ahead Lay and roll, stealth. roll for stealthy mode. Super sleuth. Very nice. Okay, 23, pretty good. Where are you headed? 
I'm just going to make my way slowly uh, towards the buildings here, following these cars, kind of like doing the uh, crunk during, you know, the um, Emperor's New Groove. Dun, 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 sneak in between vehicles, although I'm not going to be singing out loud. It's uh, just in my sure? head. Just okay. in my head. That's unfortunate, but I, I, I understand. Just going slowly, not trying to like uh, get away from everybody too quickly. If possible, actually, I think I'll keep them in my line of sight, except that they're cloaked. I can't do that. Well, right, you know where we are. You know where we are. If they move, I'll see it because those people will no longer be engaged. Yeah, I would also warn you. (laughs) Okay, yeah, you see, um, it's a door right here that says employees only. No windows, just door. Yeah, no windows. I'm gonna sneak up along here. Does it does it swing towards me or away from me? So like if if it opened right now, would I be in the line of sight? Um so this right here looks like it could be a window because it like starts up halfway on the wall, but it's like one of those like roll up um things. So call it like a locked window. Any chance of me being able to look in? Like uh no, not, the corner. Not so, without un not without unlocking it. Um oh, okay. And well, it I don't want to open it. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be unlockable from the outside without you know special tools. It's not like it's a padlock or anything. Okay. This door th- this one on the other hand looks like a regular floor to top actual door uh that has a keypad lock on it. Don't I have a stealth mode? I don't have a stealth mode on here. Shame. Uh, okay, we'll use that one. Um, but yeah, I'm just peeking around the corners here. And uh, do I get an, a sense of if this, once I see the door, does it go in, out? Uh, it looks like it I... goes into the wall. And is a window next to me? This? No, mm-hmm. just, just a wall. Okay. Stealth mode. Doors closed? Doors closed and locked, yeah. It's got sneaking by. I think that's about as much as I can do in like a relatively quick amount of time. Yeah, I'm I sure. don't think anybody else is doing anything, though. Nobody else doing nothing? Nope. Hear from you. I, I can't get any further with Rapture, so. That looks like a cyber truck, but I see a van. You do see a van? It's on the Charlie Alpha. I'm sorry, no. Uh, Delta Alpha side. Does anybody Good else Lord. here understand that? No. Nope. Cool. Uh, complex what? Oh, it's in the corner. <laughs> Which corner? Uh, cardinal cardinal directions. Entrance. Opposite of the uh, south southeast e- east. Yes. Okay. Okay. Alpha, beta, delta. Kid just starts texting random (laughs) (laughs) like nonsense. (laughs) Random. (laughs) Um, I'm gonna peek around the corner here a little bit too. See, oh, I moved. Perception, please. Oh god damn it! What did you do? Stop that! What did I do? No, I think he's. Experiencing technical difficulties. I rolled high. That's what I did. Very nice. Okay. Perception 19. Um, damn it. Okay, that's fine. That's not working. I need to fix my map real quick. 
Oh, I didn't step all the way out. Why does it keep doing that? I'm trying to peek corners, damn it. Hold alt. Yeah, I did, but then it slipped out, I guess, and moved me the whole square over. Okay, I'm doing things with the darkness again. Don't panic. Panicking. Okay. Death Star moment where I'm rounding the corner of the moon. So, Perception 19, um, it's yeah. difficult to see, but um, this black van does seem to have a short vanity license plate. Looks maybe like it could say cheese. The eagle is in the nest. I have eyes I... on the target. I no. look at Karma. <laughs> <laughs> Karma was trying to piece together the idea of a guy named Cheese being an eagle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> cheese is in the basket. <laughs> All right. Mm. Do you see anything else? Uh, anything else nearby? There's a really cool looking truck. Any people in it? Um. Do I have I seen anybody so far with this perception that I've had? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. No souls found. Is there anybody in Cheese's car? <laughs> He's kind of a far ways away, and I'm trying to keep a line of sight with you guys at the moment. I want to. I want to suggest, though, he did give me his door code. I wonder if he just left works it in there. or lives here and just left his shit here for us to get, and he's not meeting us. That's fair. Which fair? All right. You know what? Stay where you're at. We'll come to you. Kit, you want to drive us around the corner? You sure thing, boss. What arrows? What was that, Daniel? Be sure to follow the arrows. There's oh. a clear path, <laughs> and you should follow it. Mm. Guys, I'm not, it. I'm not following the path. <laughs> I honestly, no, no part of me expected you to. <laughs> Boom. Okay, very uh, nice. Sideways? <laughs> yep. I don't, are we I don't... doing? Are we doing donuts in the parking garage? <laughs> uh, which, which? Uh, before we go any further, which one is this? This is what we're looking for. Looks Bottom like right. It. All right, I'm gonna take a look myself to just see if I can spot any people. Not necessarily just in that car, but in any of the cars nearby. Sure, perception. Oh, eagle eyes. Are you the eagle? No. Let's see where are you? Has the eagle landed? I'm a person hijinks. <laughs> Let me look at what's in your line. Are you a person? Or are you human? Wait, how's that song go? Are, are you dancer? <laughs> I I am dancer. <laughs> your signs are vital. Something is pure. And I'm on my way, looking Sorry. for the answer. Oh, are we geez. human? Oh, God. Are you dancer? Um, okay, no, um, no people or anything. Um, all these cars uh, appear to be empty. Um, okay. you you think you think you saw some movement or something or maybe a glint of light coming from this direction, um, but mm, nothing appears to be um over there. Okay, from where we're at, we have eyes both on this space, here, and the vehicle. If complex, do, do you want to check the uh? the van and uh, if anything else happens we've got you covered if and we can potentially pick you up quickly yeah yeah 
I'll go along the outside ridge. I'm gonna slip past the van. And as I'm passing this truck, I'm gonna be eyeballing it in detail. The truck, okay. Um, <laughs> it is. It it says. Um, uh, it says Tesla on it. Um, A vintage cyber truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Okay. Uh, Hijinx, you want to send Complex the security information for getting into that vehicle? Yes. Complex, you're about to get a text. Is there any, like, check for fucking traps skill in this game? <laughs> yeah. I'm well, you, 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 you kind of already rolled your, your crit, and I, I told you everything that you saw. Nothing right. about my uh, change of position. I'm seeing anything new. I say that was more for Complex, because he's walking up on... <laughs> Or they're walking yeah, up on a, a vehicle. It could be trapped. I don't know. No, we definitely don't know. Should I do another perception as I'm approaching this? Give me a second. Wait your turn. Kind of uh, keep an eyes over here. I don't trust these buildings. You say wait your turn, Jay, but we're not an initiative. You think you're not an initiative. Mostly because we didn't roll initiative. <laughs> right. <laughs> I might. Someone else yeah. could be in an initiative and we're just on the way. Okay, so uh, you're just perceptioning the van, looking inside and stuff? Yeah, like underneath it, in through windows, with various vehicles as I'm passing by, just keeping my head on the swivel and making sure I'm not getting jumped or anything, or like any I'm going any to ready an action. Explosive on the vehicle or something. I am paranoid. Sure. Okay. I would like to ready an action just if uh, anybody shows up with a gun, I would like to have Mikey ready. <laughs> okay. Don't be unawares. And I also ready Rapture. Okay, so you're ready to shoot Mikey? I think you already have Mikey ready, right? Through the uh, car window? No, no. I would like to be able to uh, open the, the car door, step out, and... I, okay, I want to cover Complex. If somebody shows up with a gun, I would like to use probably suppressive fire to get them to back off. Okay, so that that's covered by initiative. So unless you want to immediately act upon a very specific circumstance, you don't need to ready an action. If you would like to say, as soon as I see someone moving that's not complex, I fire a bullet, that would be something like ready That an seems action. extreme so, for a residential garage. So no, I will not do that. Like <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, that's... Wrong okay. place, wrong time, buddy. Right. I just want to make sure I'm not sending them into a fucking trap un uncovered. Okay. So if you're looking for s explosives, you can roll a demolitions check. Otherwise, just a perception to, you know, do a general scan of the area. Can I do both? Yeah. And demolitions is what? Combat? Tech, maybe? Should be tech. Tech. Uh, not a good number, not a bad baseline. And your perception? That uh, was a thirteen. Oh, got it. Okay. Um, nothing stands out. Uh, you definitely in the back of the where the doors open, kind of barn style. You see that there is indeed a pad, um, like a, a keypad on the back. Uh, looking in through the windows, um, looks like there's uh, various fast food bags and wrappers uh, kind of strewn about. Um, there's a little dancing hula girl on the dash um, and a vanity sticker over the uh, um, uh, on the dashboard that says uh, Mount Endumi. Oh my what? god. Is there a packet, or like, are there boxes? Of course, there is. <laughs> I hate uh, he this guy. He can't see into. <laughs> he can't see into the cab, into the. the oh, the okay. Back. I see. That's all I see. in the front through the windows. So um, once I'm around this corner here, not entirely around the corner, 
I just like peek, I see that door. I'm suspicious of it. I'm suspicious of everything. I'm doing like the whole slinking <laughs> up to the edge and like poking my head around the corner. Uh, uh, no, all right. And I'm gonna tap on the the van a couple of times with a nice solid rap. Okay. It echoes. Uh, I'm gonna radio in. I don't think he's here. Probably a wise decision, honestly. I'm gonna message you the. Uh... I think sort of sent the code. Is that what you're sending? No. Okay. Because I mean, I could respond, but you muted us, so. Oh, in character. Okay. Group text. Mm -hmm. Yes. So okay, I go up to the uh, to the door, and um, enter in the code, and as I'm going to go for opening it, I'm going to stay on the other side of the door as I open it outward. Okay. Um, you punch in the code, and uh, uh, pull the latch, and the door opens. Uh, you you on the left side, you have the inside of the two doors. So opening that door kind of pops open the other one a little bit too. But you successfully keep your shield situation going. You were definitely met by the pungent stench of mildew. <laughs> <laughs> emanating from this <laughs> gnarly fucking van. <laughs> well, that would be preferable to the scent of a dead body, to be honest with you. Well, there's uh, no particular scent. They're <laughs> bad. You just told us about all of the like bags of fast food in the back. In the front, <laughs> in the front. but yeah. In the front. I'm it sure probably the smell has, definitely like, doesn't that greasy, like, fast food smell. You want to send in the drone? Send in the clowns. Yeah, have to try and take a peek. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the sound effects. Um, <laughs> it does definitely appear that um, there are a couple of posters um, and a box of goods. There's your two boxes. Two boxes of goods and a computer. And a bag that assumingly houses clothing replicator? Yeah. Uh, out of character question. I do have a bug detector. What do we need to check for trackers? You have to, your bug detector automatically goes off when you're within two meters of a bug. Okay, a bug. But uh, how do we check for tracking devices? What, what skill is that? perception or um, yeah you could just search for something for tracking devices so um if you're just searching for something on the outside of something just perception if you think it's been uh integrated into it at all you might need something like a, a technical skill um I'd yeah have to look at this just but... just gonna throw this out there um it could be tracked. We don't want to take this home. If anything, we'll take it to a second location and uh, give everything a thorough comb over. Dungeon Master simply drops off some goods in the parking lot, lives literally no traps or anything, and his party <laughs> fucking apes <laughs> over it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's about okay. right. He asked us to be paranoid in Cyberpunk. Here we are. He got what he wanted. We and it's not it's not over yet. Rex, we got fucking thrown out windows and shit. Yeah. So, this yeah. is warranted. <laughs> there are trust issues. I, I don't know if this is warranted, but <laughs> <laughs> well, it's I mean, definitely well, something. Let's grab the guys. I think tracking uh, checking for trackers is warranted given Chip fucking tracked us back to the house and the house before was bugged. So Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> I mean, everyone's fucking paranoid. Like <laughs> we're we're literally just going to a garage to pick up shit and it's like I think we it's can fine. the van back. Yeah, we we can go ahead and grab this stuff and and uh maybe go to a second location and, and cover everything over. Okay, so how do you go about doing that? Uh, I drive backwards to where Complex wants me to drive to. Okay, so you pull up kind of backwards. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Uh, do do do. Here's the van. 
Aqua. Backwards. I'm just going to look this way with Rapture. Make it easier to load. Oops, I didn't mean to run over complex. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. What was that? Thump thump. Okay. Screech as metal legs get under tire wheels. That's mm, no. all right. Um, do I need to grab any more tokens? Is anybody getting out? I think I'm just going to start shoveling things in. If we can open the back of the van, though, can we open our van back? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Just transfer the goods. Okay. And uh, Karma, look over all the things. Make sure nothing's bugged, like it was saying. Yep. Already got the bug detector out, and uh, I will actually hop over over the seat into the back and start um, just combing over shit. Okay. I just well, I just shift out of the way. Well, as you get into the back, your bug detector goes up. Yep. That feels about right. Um, and also, hijinks, you said Rapture was kind of looking around, so I'll give you another perception if you want. Your bug detector seems to be uh, um, that the there might be a bug on the van. On his van? On his van? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Okay, yes. Yeah, so he was tailed. There's probably somebody around here then. Awareness, perception, hold on. Look at 10! We want to, okay. like, doodle Did on you, it? What's your total? Hold on, I'm getting there. Uh, I got a 10 and a 1, uh, as is, so, uh, flat 20. 20 total. Okay, um, same thing, uh, your or karma salt earlier everything looks pretty empty although you do think you see like a glint of lighter movement coming from over here a complex get in the car okay we got everything <laughs> um i imagine it would take a round uh, more than just a round or two to get everything i imagine um Probably got Karma's little box and the posters as their lights. Uh, you're probably putting in the computer now, and then need to put in that little replicator. I'm in the back. Can I can I give them a hand to just speed shit up? Uh, yeah, you can uh, go to the van and help pick stuff up. I'm gonna use. I just want to also clarify. There's the uh, doors at the back of the van. Yeah. Um, I would like to make sure that I'm using uh, this side as a cover for myself as well. Okay. Paranoia is deep. Oh, it's so deep, guys. Zero G yeah. could almost see our fucking house from her office. I will never trust anything again. I will grab whatever the fuck is closest to hand and, and check it in the back. Okay. Um, why not? Oops, I didn't mean to do on that layer. Okay, Oops, I did, I do... did it again. You put your um, your mixtape in. No. <laughs> <laughs> nope. They've just resorted to singing it to themselves because they weren't allowed to put it on earlier. <laughs> no, Miri. Okay. You're not going outside. Oh, please, come on. Hi. With the taste of your lips. Uh, uh. All right, I need. Everybody who has line of sight. So, uh, Hijinx, are you still looking through Rapture Vision? Yes. Okay, so I'll give Rapture it because it's flying high. Definitely not those two. Uh, so, Hijinx and Kit, I need an awareness, a perception, whatever. Perception. It's dangerous. I'm falling. 15. 13. There's no escape. I can't wait. I need a hit. Hey, hey. 
I'm not doing perception because I'm busy singing okay. to myself. Um, no one sees anything, but um, I jinx swear that for a second he, she hears the subtle squeal of like brakes being applied, like car brakes. Like, Ugh. Yeah, Guys, you might want to hurry it up. After the taste of your poison paradise. Okay, okay, let's focus on the drop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, transfer in the right. words. Uh, with Karma's help. Love to get out and help, but that is yeah. not conducive. Sure, yeah, with Karma's help this round, you definitely get everything into your van. In the van, let's and go. Let's go, go, and go, getting go. Into the van, closing the doors as she's driving off. Okay. Just a second. All right. So as you get about there, this guy decloaks. And no, oh, I said go back again. I said as you get oh, about there. Oh damn it! All right, I owe you fifty eddies. Fifty eddies. <laughs> and. They, and uh, Gargantra Please. cop shows up. Ah, <laughs> yeah. oh, uh, Jesus. Police guy gets out of the car and says, uh, Police, stop the vehicle. Sorry, you guys are in the vehicle. I'll go ahead and delete you there. And, uh, uh we're not going like in the, to, we're not going with the cops, right? Absolutely no, not. If you'd like to, it might help. You can roll some initiative. <laughs> For those of you who don't remember early on when we specified, I bet on having the cops. I won the bet. Very nice. Oh, the thing. Oh, it's there. Okay. But I wasn't selected anyways. Oops. Oh. I don't know what's what I'm reflex? going to do with that. Rain, hmm? what's your reflex? Uh, seven? Hold on, let me check. Eight. Well, eight, um, seven. Okay, just just right, remember seven. your numbers. Yeah. Oh, it actually says okay. it in your initiative thing, so I could have just read that. Um, blind. Yeah, that's I'm slipping under a taste of pause in paradise. All right, we've got the, the re we've got the relevant initiatives up there. Um, everybody else, just kind of remember your numbers if you have to react separately, which I imagine you might. But we're gonna go ahead and roll for these guys. Okay. Getting real sick of outrunning coppers. I was about to uh, ask how, so, yeah, you, how you feel about uh, repeat performance. Uh. Two, three, four, five, six. Thank you, Sarah. Oh, we're going to have to change the license plates on the van, too. I mean, we all knew this was going to happen, right? No. Jeremy said it was going to be an easy session. I said, oh, I'm... <laughs> you made chill, not easy. Okay. All right. Are we avoiding um, shooting them? So, looks like... Yes. Wait, with the perception that I rolled yeah. before, how did I fucking... The DV for cloaking is 17. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told you, you saw it. The glint of light, the movement. Okay. You both, you and Hijinx told you, I told you, you saw something in the corner. Moving. Yeah, no, you're, you're right. Um, let's see. So, he's not going to shoot at you. He's just telling you to step out of the vehicle. So, we'll go to Kit's turn. Uh, we are not stepping out of the vehicle. Right? What I was told not doing? getting arrested. So, not getting arrested. We not getting a cop. drive. Bye. He didn't block me off enough. I don't know if you want me to make a drive check. I'm just moving the van currently. Please do. 
Please I'm going to use a there. luck die. <laughs> by the by. Uh, here we go. Oh, I can 27. Nice. Okay. We'll say you kind of drift around the front of that cop's car and he's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Um, they forgot who they were fucking with. <laughs> they don't know what to say person. Karma and complex with the stuff in the back just go slamming against the wall as she whips herself around the corner. Right. Brace yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. And uh you still have control of rapture hijinx, so whatever you want to do with that. Real I'm not quick. allowed to I'm not allowed to shoot them, but I'm watching them. Can I interject? Yeah. Can I can I crawl over to my fucking seat and buckle in? <laughs> that's, that's fine. It's okay, cool, thanks. Yeah. I would like to do that. <laughs> can I, mean, I make sure get... my seatbelt's on? <laughs> <laughs> we buckle in. <laughs> buckle. Well, uh we'll we'll get to complex because he was a little bit you you were really fast in initiative, but we're we use uh, Kit's initiative for the vehicle. So yeah, sure. Your seatbelt is in. Rapture's just staring down the cop menacingly. Staring down the cop menacingly. Okay. Until I'm given permission to shoot. Let's not fire on cops if we don't have to. Uh, That's uh -huh. why I said permission. I don't I want a repeat of this weekend. Yes, you do. Not particularly. Um, that results in a brain bleed. God damn it. Where did my... Uh... Damn, why did it always go gigantic? Um, uh, I think we have the stats of that. Let's see if we can. Let's see if our cop can make a called shot, huh? Let's see combat. I have this new cool little uh, helpy helper app thing. Heavy pistol. Aim shot. And what's your range? We're at 15 meters. Aim shot, pistol. He misses so badly he shoots his friend on the other side. <laughs> that would be great. That'd be ideal, yeah. Pretty thing for the tires, though. And then he yells, shots fired, shots fired, man down, man down, friendly fire, ah. Uh. No, he wouldn't say friendly fire, he'd blame one of us. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Well, the one guy would be yelling friendly fire. He'd be crying, probably. Or dead. Alright, that's gonna be a miss. Well, the, the bullet, um, uh, the bullet hits the, your bulletproof window and you get a small uh fracture in the glass as the window absorbs the impact i'm just gonna turn around and go is it weird i'm glad it wasn't the tire <laughs> no <laughs> no this this is a better outcome <sighs> that's gonna basically take his whole turn turning around Let's get one more good shot, huh? Let's see. Aim shot. Okay, a bullet hits the back doors, does not penetrate. Hit your turn. Hit your turn. My turn? Yep, yes. hit your turn. Yeah, fuck this, we're out. 
I have a movement speed of 20. I don't know if that means 20 squares or what. Uh, in, nar in narrative, uh, uh, the non-narrative speed. So, yeah, I guess it would be 20 um, would be your total movement speed. Well, whatever like span of movement that we've been going around here, I'm going to try to brace myself and have my bow at the ready, but that's it. You could probably get to the ramp if you somehow maneuver around this cop. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Uh... Believe it, baby. I can squeeze. Huh? Uh... I can squeeze. <laughs> Hold on, I can't see my screen, but I can squeeze. Okay, why don't you uh why don't you roll your drive for squeeze? Okay. Nice, the nice, the nice. Uh I'm using a luck die. Okay. Needless to say. Ay 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 ay. Where's drive? Control. Wow. 23. Nope. I don't want to move the car. Give me rapture. It should be like right around here if it works. So you're going to... That's not quite enough for... Okay, so this person's going to be like, oh shit, and dive out of the way. And oh, excellent. Car... That gives me more room. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, the driver here is gonna like pinch you in so you guys are like nose again uh, like grinding against each other coming down the the ramp here oh well if he's pinching me in i'm just gonna go the wrong way on the wrong side of the road fuck him hopping barriers so that ramp is going to the sixth floor oh never mind just grind off some paint. Yeah, whatever. I've got a probably a heavier plate than he does. And you know, with the other car in the way, it probably helps protect my tires from being shot. Maybe. So Fair. Ref <laughs> a angry robot noises. Because I angry. don't think I'm allowed to shoot yet. Okay. Can you suppress a fire? Can I suppress a fire? I don't think I have an auto fire on this. It's no, just a handgun. He has a, uh... it has a pistol. Right. I would suppress a fire, but I'm not rolling the fucking window down. <laughs> No, a bad idea. Um, okay. Do we have jamming capabilities? That would be nice to jam their radio communication so they don't call for fucking backup. I don't think that we. Well, I I don't know. Is that part of the communication array? I'm looking at it now. Let's see, hold on. Where is it? Um, seating upgrades, security upgrade. Communication center. I was so hoping it was the bozos or maelstrom so we could shoot people. <laughs> it does not. Okay. It uh... does have a homing tracer. Hmm. And a radio scanner slash music. Oh, it has a D scrambler. It has six scramblers slash D scramblers. We can scramble. That's uh scrambling your own communications, so oh. that's really coded messaging, yeah. Yeah, so you, you could also so with your like radio scanner, you could try to get um, their radio and listen in on their chatter, but they're all connected in via their own subnet. As um, that's what Ronin was tapping in last time. We need a deep diver for that. Maybe I don't maybe, got that skill set yet. Maybe one day. Okay, so um, Kit, go ahead and roll a drive against this other police officer. Okay. Hold on, I have to scroll up because I was just looking at my... Boom. Oh, 27. Ooh. Okay, 27 is better. Um, let's see. So you're Better, gonna... that's great. <laughs> yeah. You're going to break free on your turn. Okay. Means I only get another one more shot at an aim shot. Come on. Uh... 
a seven. A seven's not going to do it. Okay. Alrighty then. Um, <laughs> let's see. So, do do. do. <laughs> miss, miss. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right. So you go flying down the ramp, and they're coming after you. Mr. Cop up here is going to be kind of left in the dust a bit. Um, okay, so how about just one more? Um, let's see. How about just one more uh, drive check to see if you can uh, navigate down the uh, the ramps um, without slowing down so that the cops can't catch you? Cool. I'm drifting. Uh, I'm using Electi. Okay. 25. 25 is enough. Okay, so they're not going to be able to catch up to you. Meanwhile, all of our shit is spread all over the place. It probably sounds like a battering ram in the back. <laughs> I'm yeah. trying to hold as much of it in as possible. <laughs> At so least you, most of it's posters. <laughs> you get down you get down to the first floor. You see that um the uh the garage exit um defenses are up. Obviously you haven't paid for your ticket. Um so the um there's a little spike strip on the ground. There's us and the arm for the entrance is down, and it looks like there is a cop parked right outside of it. What are you going to do about that? Great question. We have the drone, right? Can the drone shoot hey. the spike strip? <laughs> oh. Or can we lower the defenses? Not easily. I didn't admin myself. I didn't think we were going to have this outcome. But you did admin yourself. <sighs> I had the okay. dice ignore me. Yeah, that was it. Guys, this might this might suck. I might you I might hit the cop car to go over the spike strip so that way the cop car takes the damage and we don't. Well, if the, the cop car's blocking the entrance with no spike strip. Oh, then we ram the cop car. Okay. Ramming speed. Getting okay. flashbacks. Oh yeah. Uh brace yourself. <laughs> I hold I'm, I'm actually going to go kind of limp. <laughs> I have been trying to brace myself as much as possible. I did not have the presence of mind to seat belt though. Go limp, it helps with whiplash. <laughs> Alright. We'll keep in mind that he's not seat belted. Jesus, go those are gonna hurt. Ramming oh. speed. Oh, ramming speed. I gotta get you seat and like belted, bro. Ramming speed is I just do a drive, right? Yeah. yeah. Last luck die so I don't kill us all. <laughs> Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Okay. So let's see. Just enough to get through. If I can, I'll try and sideswipe him so I don't like run into him like full like full blast like maybe i can like clip the back of his car or something and get through sure or so the van within blue line. least least impact possibly. yeah okay. like glancing blows if i can so uh everybody no matter what uh, clap take... your hands <laughs> everybody no matter what takes two damage oh, that's not it. bad uh let's see Except for the oh. dumbass in the back. Yeah, hold on, I'm still working on it. <laughs> may or not, may or not uh, be in the back anymore. Oh, Karma, do you know what we should do? There should be a strategy that we employ. We should get smoke grenades. And we're, when we're being tailed, we can oh, yeah. put them in the eject seat. <laughs> See, One, you know what? Grenades. I actually <laughs> already have smoke grenades on the shopping list. I will add an extra two just for that purpose. <laughs> Complex, you take an extra five and are suffering the whiplash critical injury. Fun. Um, it's what I've always wanted. <laughs> At least you got all of your health back. Yep. That is. 
that is all the damage. That's all the damage that's going to happen to you guys. The rest of the damage goes to the car. Yep. The van is at full health, though. Yeah. Hey, you know what? The cops probably have whiplash, too. Yeah, that's a great point. Just a little (laughs) bit of petty joy. And I, the van, you know, has, like, upgraded stopping power, so it has 63 hit points. Whereas... Yeah. Reading stuff. Hold on. This is very good. Mm-hmm. Also, complex. Please, for the love of all that is good in this world, get belted in. Uh, I'm going to reorient my yeah. body to do uh, so. Complex is currently sitting on hijinks's lap. Hi. <laughs> You're heavy. Please get off. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to look up the effects of whiplash. It just makes your uh, death saves worse if you go into death saves. Okay. Um, other than that, it looks like you're getting away. Uh, as none of my aim shots at your tires wanted to work. So you're gone. Huzzah! How much damage did the car take, Jer? The uh, car only took 15 points of damage. Okay, fine. Which is a bit, but not for not for your car. Not for the van. I'll take my fifty eddies up front, please. I already sent them to you. Thank you. I get belted. Okay. I stand corrected about paranoia. I am now on the same crazy train <laughs> as everybody else. And uh, I feel yeah. like we need to invest in a paint company with the amount of times so I'm going to have to paint my cars and steal license plates. <laughs> what you know, color do we want the van to be this time? A nice Viridian, blue? Viridian Visionaries is a paint. It's a paint company. Oh, that's great. That's perfect. <laughs> Also, what? I'm glad you're on, on uh, uh, the bandwagon with the uh, conspiracy theories. I do need to ask if you believe in the supernatural. Do you like, believe in werewolves, Kit? Werewolves? Hmm. Vampires, <laughs> astrology, hmm. the supernatural, ghosts. Whoa. Okay, guys, I don't know if you realize this. I am currently going 100 miles an hour in the middle of Night City. Okay, okay, okay. Find a second location where we can go for this shit for trackers. Because we got to check this shit for trackers before we go home. These are important matters. Okay, someone, I don't care who, because it's a collaborative effort. Someone needs to roll streetwise, and someone needs to roll a stealth. I got streetwise. Well, I'll, I'll spell this. Uh, I'll, you know what? I'll use a look for this. What am I rolling this? 19. For? 19, okay. To help uh, find a place <gasps> to hide away from the cops. It's a 9, which sucks. I think I it's actually have... I think I actually have stealth. Hold on. Let me look. Well, complex volunteered. Oh, you said it was a collaborative effort. Well, yeah, I said someone and someone. Oh. The that's still 11. I mean, that's the, not terrible. It's, the it's collaborative minds uh, decided on complex. Um, I got a nice team. Where is stealth? Body? Yeah. Um, okay, so um, yeah, you find a um, uh, kind of a, a warehouse area to, to pull into. Um that Karma knows is going to be, like, abandoned. Uh, so you kind of pull in there. Um, yeah, if the we place have... that we were going uh, to buy, but we didn't. But um, looks like the police know that you're in the area, so you definitely hear... Um, co- you definitely hear cop cars circling, like, uh, around the, the block, kind of looking for you guys. Uh, the The... Conceal, Park camouflage, himself. yeah, mm-hmm. camouflage okay. is up. What's a seventeen uh, DC on that thing? Yeah. Well, while she's doing that, like concurrently, I 
Grandma will hop in the back again and start combing over shit. Just Great looking help. for. Yeah. I shall help. Okay. Um. Posters are well, easy. <laughs> Don't yeah, for, for everything except for the the electronics, such as the computer and um, the laptop and such, uh, and, uh, perception is fine. Um, for everything else, you're going to want someone to roll a basic tech? Yeah. My basic tech is six, so I'll do perception. Anybody does, else anyone, to... does anyone have it higher than an eight or basic tech? I have a ten. Do it. Oh shit! No, I don't. The dice giveth and the dice taketh away. You know what? I'd rather you roll fumble on checking for this than driving. So that's a great point. <laughs> this won't kill us. Okay. Um, karma I mean, I know. Check hmm? Karma checking the rest of the blo belongings that aren't like machines. You're pretty sure there's no tracking devices of any kind. Um. Uh, Kit, you're also you're also pretty sure that there's no tracking devices, but um, in um, yeah, in searching, uh, like taking apart the equipment to see if there's any like bugs inside, um, hijinks is a, a computer. Um, you like um, you screw in a bolt too tight and it cracks her LCD monitor screen. It'll have to be replaced. Whoops. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I am 100% prepared to just fucking chuck this laptop right now. There's nothing proprietary, uh, propri proprietary on there. Uh, I can get another fucking laptop. I don't want anything following us back to our new address. Before you chuck the laptop, can we use your screen to fix hijinks' screen? I done fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> not, not exactly compatible. <laughs> Unless you wanted to sell it for a new screen. Can can I just for shits and giggles try um uh tech basic tech? Uh yes, but I um I will say that if you um well th there's a there's a chance that you could break hijinks' stuff further because you have to un undo the monitor again, but we'll see what you roll. Uh, I will ask hijinks permission before doing that. Hijinks will do it. Okay, I'll I'll do my own. <laughs> I just I would rather buy money, like spend money on a new laptop than compromise our new address. Oh, well, very nice. Okay, so hijinks begin uh, be begins takes taking apart uh, the equipment, um, looking for devices that aren't supposed to be there, uh, and finds none. Okay. I mean, I already know my shit's being tracked, but it's it's Chip's tracker. So. I think we're good, Kit. I'm not mad at you. Okay. I'm busy not twisting my neck. She, she, but when you did break it, you saw like that pained expression for a second. Yeah, and yeah. Com Complex is trying very hard to keep his spine straight, or their spine straight at the moment. Yes. I think our shit's fine, but I oh, okay. Do you do you look at the laptop? I'm so fucking paranoid. That that role was for everything. Oh oh okay okay cool 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 all right. Well um, do we still hear I, sirens? I pull out Gladys and open up a fucking movie. Like anybody want to watch a movie while yeah. we wait for the cops to leave? Yeah, it's 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 pretty <laughs> it's pretty clear that they're trying to like create a uh, a search perimeter like they're they're cordoning off the area and they're um uh, preparing to like start scanning the area you're pretty confident with your vehicle in stealth mode at the moment but if you had to if you have to leave this area um it's going to be rough because they're actively looking in the area we're in a warehouse area mm -hmm. you said yeah, Does it look I think like... a par parking space outside of a of a warehouse that Karma knows is abandoned. Oh, it's abandoned? Do, do they have, like, roller doors? Can we, like, break, like, lockpick into a roller door situation and close it? And relock uh, it? Someone with lockpicking uh, experience could probably unlock Karma? the roller hey, door. Hey, Karma? 
Can, what if we park the van at the roller door and then we watch a movie? Let's give it a shot. Okay. Because cops, I don't know. Cops typically oh, can't yeah. until that first warrants, right? <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> okay. So Karma knows pretty well that warehouse roll up doors uh, typically lock with a. Um, with a little lock lever on the bottom. So she cinches in a screwdriver or long implement tool implement of some sort, squeezing it underneath the roll up door, finds that little uh, um, lever and unlocks it. And the uh, rolling door, uh, because of the weight of the chain, just flies up on its own. Awesome. Uh, we drive the van into the roller door. And then I can help Karma lock the roller door from the inside again. Okay. Um, yeah, right. this uh, this place um, smells like it uh, might have been a mill or something. Kind of smell has like kind of a fart smell to it. Um, <laughs> but um, or a chemical sp a smell. Hey, maybe 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 this was even a drug warrant of some sort. But it looks safe and completely empty. Do I get any kind of uh, detection for an interface in the area if I do a scan? Uh, um, just one, which appears to be a fuse box at the back of the warehouse. You want me to go park by the fuse box at the back of the warehouse? I uh, suppose so, but I don't think that's going to be a security system of any kind, so... I was just worried that it was cameras or something. Well, let's just go park by the fuse box since it's away from the roller door anyway, and then we'll put conceal back, and then I've got an emergency stash of kibble in the smuggling compartment, and we can watch movies and eat kibble until this blows over. We might be here <laughs> for the night. <laughs> I'm fine with this. Lock door on the opposite side of where the lock door is completely concealed in a dark warehouse that's abandoned. I mean, this sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah, I mean, we've definitely had, like, worse situations. <laughs> like, I will take it. Fair enough. We might have to pull a D&D &D situation and, like, sleep on watches, but... I pull out my gun and open the movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's the thing. <laughs> I periodically her gun has a, com a, a screen on it that she can watch movies with. Yeah, it's a little fold-out screen that comes out of the um, uh, the grippy bit. I know guns. <laughs> the grippy bit. The pommel. I, the gun pommel. I... <laughs> <laughs> the bike. <laughs> the gun pommel. I know. What it's, yeah. it's just a handle, right? Yeah, but the grippy bit. <laughs> <laughs> the grippy bits right. happen to have a fold out screen, okay? <laughs> wild, wild, grab it by the grippy bits. <laughs> that's, uh, that's our saying today. Okay, let's see. I, need... I occasionally just look at my agent and have, like, rapture, like, spin around on the car and look around, but not get off the car. Because that sounds like a horrible idea if Kit needs to hit drive all of a sudden. Don't we also have, like, on the van, like, a, a full, like, monitor screen? We could always, like, stream from an agent to the monitor. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> also, uh, Kit, I, I have to revisit the supernatural thing. Oh, right, right, yeah. No longer driving 100 miles an hour through it. Okay. Yeah, admittedly, my timing was poor. <laughs> you said werewolves, vampires... Astrology. astrology ghosts okay ghosts definitely uh i think my dad grandma nima haunted the old farm granted that was after she got round over by the tractor that wasn't me by the by that was another person uh so Mima was a ghost for sure uh astrology what's that stars uh, stars well i believe in stars i've seen them uh You've seen stars? That must not have been in Night City. It was in <laughs> fucking Texas! I'm a farm girl! Also, you can see stars out in the Badlands. Karma, you've seen stars. Calm yeah, down. I just don't think they govern our fucking uh, existence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Stubborn, I feel, is a strong word. I don't know about that. Now, werewolves, that's a little interesting. I don't know if I actually believe in real werewolves, but I definitely believe in skinwalkers that can shift change and they leave their big piles of skin on the ground. I've definitely seen some weird shit out in the Badlands, so half yes? Have you seen piles of piles skin? Of skin? <laughs> Well, yeah, of course. Of course I've seen piles of skin. Have you ever seen what things look like after they've... Well, maybe not piles of skin. Definitely piles of blood and bone. You know what it looks like when animals go after eating each other? And humans? I do not. I do not. For a long time, <laughs> well, I'm, ju- I'm just letting you know that big cats play with their food. I can never leave this city. <laughs> <laughs> well, well said. Uh, uh, vampires? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Have to. I'm like half on that too. Like if skinwalkers are a thing, maybe vampires. I do believe in aliens though. They for sure have kidnapped people and done experiments. You know what? I'll give you that one. We've been cloned. It's not a huge stretch. No, nah, not at all. So, uh, uh, in game time, we would only have about 20 or so minutes, so I'll leave us here with uh, Movie Night. You'll have to figure out what movie you guys are all watching, what you can stream on your uh, internet or something. Um, Good job today. Go ahead and everybody give each other 10 IP. Neat. For, uh, For escaping from a garage successfully. Oh, okay, Jared, can we talk about the 10 thing again? Because that's the odd numbers we literally cannot use. <laughs> unless unless you want to just do 10 another time. I mean... Where do we even record the IP? Under... It's over by humanity and death save. It's not right. Oh, here we go, here we go. I've got zero AP points. Let me look at my chart. Yeah, 15. 15 would be high. How did you get a, a multiple of five? I have no idea. <laughs> um, well, 10 is a viable thing, but uh, as Yara points out, it's uh, 20 is the minimum. So, oh, I remember now. I did some singing. <laughs> oh, right. When we were still doing it. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Um, Okay, sure. Give each other 20. But Thank don't you. say I never did anything nice for you. We appreciate you, Jer. I say that all the time. Uh, cool. Um, all right, I appreciate so, you not yeah. doing this one not odd number. That would have kind of driven me a little crazy. <laughs> like having a five in something? I've just that would drive me way crazier. <laughs> that, I would Jer. be crawling, crawling up the walls over that. Like, that's just... <laughs> oh, karma confirmed spider. Yeah, I'm, yes. so, I'm so sad. I don't get to enact any of my plots. I'm Batman, not Spider-Man. Plots? You have yeah. you, the you have the stuff. Yeah, I'm not doing it with said person in the car, Jer. Well, then you'll have to wait, won't you? But uh, I uh, now ha- I uh, now have one of my Elo uh, machines with me. So you're going to plug it oh, into the warehouse and <laughs> to talk to people on Evo? Hi, Jinx. I saw the back of that. I saw that car. You need to call from under cheese. He needs to clean his shit. I'll boot up Elo in a minute. There was food in the do I think? Too. Do I think it's safe to boot up Elo? Uh, safe I know this way. warehouse. This is all the warehouse that we blew up. <laughs> I just used an old <laughs> map, but yes. I'm it is. Up. This is the forklift we tortured forklift. somebody yeah. in. Yeah. Oh, the forklift. <laughs> torture lift. <laughs> but, yeah. but, Jared, do I think it would make it easier for them to find us if I booted up Elo? You still have all of your um, your Netrunner skills. You're just using this place for a power source. Um, Good. 
Lord, that mattress. Theoretically, (laughs) this vehicle has, um, uh, can connect to the data pool, so you're probably fine. You'll have to use a proxy and all that crap like you normally do. No need to roll for it. Good. Nobody touched that mattress. No, that's why this place smells the way it does. (laughs) It's all emanating from that mattress. Um, I'm going to. This was, take this, the was first where, watch. this was where Bobo the Supreme Hobo was like born. There are oil, <laughs> Again, <laughs> like <laughs> barrels all over the place over here. Yeah. If this if this is where he was at, why did he feel like the need to drag oil barrels to our this house? Is where, this is where he was born. This is where this is where it. The happens. origin story. Yeah. But but he was Haitian, wasn't he? A Haitian refugee. Yeah, well, I mean, he went this to... This is where he was born he, as yeah. the, the creature of vengeance, because... No, of he was born death. here, but he moved to Haiti at a very young age. And then came back? Yeah. See, that's where he fucked up. Yeah, who would ever come <laughs> back to Night City? He's been looking for this warehouse ever since. That hurts, kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, the kid, kid show is to come here. Okay, I know, but that. he got out. Now I'm, I'm stuck. get ready for work. You guys do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair enough. <laughs> do your thing. Be weird. <laughs> oh wait, wait! I gotta do my thing. Hold on. Uh, everybody on the internet. Goodbye. Thank you for the hydrate, Sarah. <laughs> uh, okay, guys. I might leave too. I really need sleep. Cool. Oh, did you guys get your AC taken care of? Yeah, it finally got taken care of today. Um. So but we were out cool. like camping this past weekend, and it was like, yeah, forty well, degrees. If you're gonna get some good sleep tonight, yeah, thank God I need it, man. Otherwise, I'm gonna be a zombie. Cool. Well, sweet dreams. Enjoy the AC. Yeah. Rest. Thank you for the sacrifice, Jer. I'm not wearing my glasses. I don't actually know where they are wow. right now. Hmm. Bye, internet. Sell information. Bye. Bye. I don't she want to self affirmation. Yeah, I think they're they're both kinda wiped after the last weekend. It was a little long weekend too. They're out of town for a bit. I'm gonna go step away from the computer for a minute and see what's going on in my house. I'll be back. Okay. Year, you have to wait two more weeks for the plot. Well, you know what? Hey, at least we're on schedule. So, I <laughs> well, I mean, okay, so the next session should be the um, midnight market. This didn't go into two sessions. Yeah, we're just going to have to make sure we can get home easily at the start of next session. I don't think Jerry's going to trip us up. Too. Like, I don't think he would uh, delay the midnight market just for a drive home. Probably not. And I have my a original elo console and i can just boot it up and tell fucking cheese we got our shit um nearly got caught by the cops you have a bug on your fucking car you find it maybe wait to respond to him because um god daniel left his thing i can hear myself um yeah maybe wait because like pretty sure the cops are probably actually watching his communications right now would they be watching it on elo though I, I, you know what? No, better safe than sorry. I'll tell him like the next day or something. You know what? Make a dummy account, and we'll send him a message saying your car's bugged. That's really the only thing he needs to know. He doesn't even really need to know that. He probably already knew. I'm guessing they bugged the car when they picked up his brother. He might actually be in jail right now. I'm not Maybe. paranoid. I don't know what you're talking about. I do love that the uh, kit has come around to the paranoia bandwagon. <laughs> She's like, I think this is a little bit too. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe I ask Jer in the next couple weeks to roll some library searches on where these brothers are actually at. Yeah, he was worried we weren't going to have enough to do today, and that just getting into that garage right. and getting out took the whole like three hours. Uh huh. That's why we need more time. (laughs) Yeah, I'm I'm glad we didn't um, 
have to go into a second session because now dude now I, I, able to... hmm? I got so anxious when i rolled that fucking first crit failure and i'm like but i rolled a whole bunch of both today yeah yeah the um, next session when we actually go to um and you know something, the even, if that, even if that cloak check is a bit ass, I don't feel bad. You don't know why they knew we were there fucking anyways. So, yep. I mean, there's worse things that could have happened. Yeah. The, um, the beginning of next session, I am going to, like, give Jera a heads up, um, Carmen's gonna wake up extra fucking early. Just so like the wardrobe thing. I've I've fumbled on that multiple times now. I'm going to give Karma time to roll twice if she needs to. Like she would spend the whole ass day getting ready for the midnight market if that's what she needs to do with her whole ass day. Um because like one hundred percent everything that I I just gotta have that shit on lockdown next time. Fuck, I'll get up early with you. We can both look presentable. I just can't go in there with green hair or some dumb shit like that. Because, uh, well, frizzy. that's... Yeah, you know what? I don't give a shit if I'm looking frizzy when we're trying to deal with, like, a Fremunda cheese and some cops. Like, I can give two shits. But if we're going to meet Wakako and, um... Chip and who knows who else? Like I don't know if he's gonna have anybody else there, but it seemed like he wanted to. Um, if there's a chance to make some higher end connections, at, like this is our first midnight market, it's yeah, worth so getting it's... up early and spending some extra fucking time fixing up my hair. Yeah, <laughs> if and he'll like, let me roll twice if I fumble. Yeah, like with both of us being like the social faces in a big social scenario, like especially you, but. It wouldn't be bad for both of us to be looking our best. Yeah. I just... It, the real benefit to that is that it gives you a plus one on your first, like, contentious social interaction with somebody, right? Where you're rolling mm -hmm. against each other. Um, it Dealing with... Like, honestly, with Chip, I don't think it would make a massive difference. Um, my reputation and interactions with Chip aren't going to be a big factor. My reputation... And dealing with Wakako is going to be a little bit different. Yeah. Um, same for you. And, like, we don't know. Again, we don't know who else is going to be there. You might run into a DJ. Just saying. That's going to be a, a thought. That, I don't know if we need all that on top of all of Chip and Wakako. Hey, I'm just saying you can pick up phone numbers while you're there. It doesn't have to be a whole fucking day yet. Midnight Market's a good place to make connections. I have my own list of things I need to do. At the midnight market, or just in general? No, in general. Yeah, only I was kind of specific thing. I was kind of hoping to get a chance to do some library searches. Um, and he had mentioned possibly taking a walk through old Japan Town, but I think that one's either going to have to go on the back burner for uh, the beginning of next session, or it's going to have to be. Um, I honestly, I I would like for it to be a downtime thing because. Um, if I don't want, uh, I don't know that we'd want to be down there the same day. I don't think Karma would wait that long. No, I wonder if we could talk to him about letting us drive home on downtime. It's like we don't need to extend us doing shit a whole nother session before the night market. And, like, there's still shit that we're trying to get done, and the fact the complex still needs to be going to therapy, and... Yeah. And that's going to depend on whether or not he wants to do anything more with the um, the drive home. I can't imagine he would want to, but you never know what Joe's going to want to do. He might. Don't know what he's got planned. I am pleased that there were no um, tracking devices on our stuff. I was so happy when we both rolled nat 20s or nat 10s and 
credit on those uh, yeah on those investigations. Yeah. This is good. Like mine was still only like a twenty one, but I would I would prefer not to throw my laptop out, but I was one hundred percent prepared to throw that fucking thing out the window uh, if it meant we just. I think it's like a hundred eddies for a laptop. I think um, it's about a hundred eddies for any either computer. Honestly, it specifies laptop or desktop. Yeah, Carmen doesn't have anything sensitive on that laptop. That thing is literally just a. It, it's wiped right now because uh, Chip wiped it. Um, I have I have to. Uh, replace a monitor at some point. That's not gonna be expensive. Nope. Yeah, I just I just didn't want anything following us home because we just got this whole new ass address. I guess the whole camera situation. Well, you know, maybe the camera situation wasn't unwarranted with the uh, going in, because at least they don't have our front plates. We are gonna have to get new plates for that fucking van. I, you know what? Seriously, I, Carl's just gonna end up getting us a bunch of fucking fake IDs and license plates. That's right. Like it's just we go through them. Is our cloak engaged? Yes. Yeah. Good. Yeah. We're in a dark We're... warehouse, in the back of it. Invisible watching movies. In the visible. I think, uh... Hijinx is playing video games, and, uh... <coughs> you know what? We should find out if there's, like, Sneezy. If there's a uh, first aid kit in the vehicle, and see if we can get you some, I like, some ibuprofen <laughs> for that way flash. <laughs> I actually, knew, I'm gonna punch in that I made 50. Eddies. Yeah, I had actually already subtracted it. Like Carmen's good on a bet. Good, good. Also, I was kind says... of hoping it would be Maelstrom because we could have fought back, but oh, I wanted to shoot them so bad. Yeah, it's good that we didn't have to fire though. Yo. Who is spending that much police resources on our asses? Um, the third precinct. Guaranteed those motherfuckers are from Watson. Also, I'm willing to bet they were outside of their jurisdiction. I'm or, willing well, to bet it's because it's Hornet's Hornet and fucking Lucius. Mm hmm. Absolutely. Maybe Absolutely. Also Billy Joe. I think Billy Joe. Which is just shitty for us, but it would make sense. We just gotta get to the night market and figure out what your boy wants to do about the zero-G thing. I don't see any reason he would push back against it because he was the one who wanted the information out there in the first place. Mm -hmm. What the information we need from him is uh, validating that it is true, you know? So I don't think he's going to give us a lot of pushback on doing it. It's just going to be a matter of doing it discreetly so that he doesn't get caught in the crosshairs. Um, which, again, Zero-G pointed out that the big threat to the anonymity is uh, tracking through payment. And I can guarantee my boy did not use his own fucking credit card. <laughs> he didn't pay with uh, anything that's tied to his name. Honestly, I he's using the handle squirrel right now. Parm was always known him as Chip. Um, I've talked to Jer about uh, the fact that we registered him for school. And, like his birthday is one that we kind of came up with. I don't know if Chip is actually like we haven't discussed whether or not Chip's his legal name. Like, so he's got a few layers going on here. It shouldn't be tied back to him. We'll have to have that discussion, but. I'm pretty sure if your uh, boy Marcus was already suspended, then it, the drone is probably stolen. 
Or that might be why he's suspended. <laughs> Chip might have stolen his drone and got him suspended. I don't know how. I don't know how the fucking cops work. My first question will be, when did you come into Rapture? <laughs> Give me a timeline here. Uh, you might want to ask it differently. Because <laughs> he's not going to know what Rapture means. Fair. When did you get the drone, kid? Or no, you're not getting it back. Was that done? Nothing. Um, hmm. I, for a second, did not register what she said. Hmm. Also, since Jarrett did a thing, um, I'm adorable. He's mm -hmm. not here to hear it, but please someone confirm with him whenever he returns. Oh. If I have to say it again, your eye will be upset. I didn't hear you. My headset beeped. I'm adorable. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Actually, I will probably end the stream. I wonder if there's anyone to raid. We will check real quick to see if anyone we follow is currently streaming. Maybe we raid ourselves. I did love yeah, Kit's whole, like, you guys are being really paranoid. And like, whoop, whoop, three cops. <laughs> it's like, mm, maybe not. <laughs> Let us. I was starting to think I was being pointlessly paranoid. We're going to raid a Zelda. Real quick. We, we so dropped stream. a literal cargo container of hot Arasaka goods. Right in the middle of Watson, on top of somebody who's tied in with at least the fucking mayor of that part of town. <laughs> we're, we're not paranoid. They were absolutely looking for our ass. <laughs> like, they were. They were. Um, I, I think quick. it was probably more compelling for hijinks and uh, karma after having talked to Zuriji and actually heard the recording of just like cops busting into our house and dropping shit off, taking pictures and leaving. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Before we get too far into more discussion, let me end the stream. As always, thank you, everyone who stopped by. Here is, of course, the Discord link. We have pet photos every day. This is my vibe. You should come look at the cute pets. And there's also social media. Um, I might stream tomorrow. I don't know what we'll stream tomorrow if we do, but I might. Um... Right now, I'm going to go eat a burger and maybe convince Yira to play Overwatch with me, because she didn't yesterday. But in the meantime, I hope everyone has a lovely morning, noon, or night, whatever time zone you're in. I hope you have a good one, and I shall see you all soon. Bye bye